Hello everyone. Today, we're playing as the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. The next campaign, as promised, is starting right here today. Sunday the 10th of September, Year of Our Lord 2023. We're back. Already! Blasting through another campaign in DoD Fanfork after blasting through the last one as Plantaginia. We had our main playthrough of that and then a little epilogue as the Cowboy King. The on-screen description is wrong, it should read, Eastern Europe is an absolute mess, full stop. Thank you Ninja Bear for the 7 months of Prime. I'm willing to argue that it's much more of a mess in this mod than it is in real life. Uh, I know it gets pretty bad in real life, but... Can you really beat this? Hold on, let me get my face cam. Ah, there I am. Face cam initiated. Welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to be having a customary long intro here, probably. So bear with me and just enjoy the ride. Because, and here's the disclaimer that I always give. I like to take my time through these single player Victoria 2 runs. It's the way I enjoy it. I don't blast through them. Well, I... Well, actually, I blast through them overall. In terms of like getting a whole campaign done in a week, like the Plantaginian one. But I don't blast through them by like shoving the speed on 4 or 5. Except for the last stream where we intentionally blasted through it on high speed in order to reach a particular event we wanted. However, the way I typically play these single player streams in order to get a good enjoyment out of them is to play them slowly. With a lot of chat interaction. And reading events, taking our time, making decisions. That's what we're all about in these single player streams. Uh, unfortunately, we have to go back to the normal Baroque live music 24-7 classical music royalty-free live thing as our background music, but that's really appropriate because uh, the PLC had a lot of good classical music, as I found out when making the Poland Lithuania series, multiplayer series on YouTube. Poland has a, a great history of Baroque music, all sorts of stuff, great composers. Very, very underrated and unknown. But I found and uncovered a lot of good stuff from them. So that was nice. I'm sure Polish people might know a lot, a lot more. But yeah, really underrated stuff. In the, the world of classical music. I don't know if they're, they're underrated nowadays. Polish, modern Polish, uh, Pol Polish mus uh, musicians? Uh, who? I don't know. There's that guy that everyone changed the, uh, their names to on my Discord, Janusz Walczuk. How is it going, mate? Thank you for the six months of Prime Rogo. It's going good. We're going to be having a great campaign today. Hope you're doing well too. Does anyone... Are we going to have any Polish people in the chat today? Make yourselves known if you're going to be a, a resident Poles. I need to know that you're here so that you can admire my pr pronunciation of Rzeczpospolita, which is what we're playing as today. Oh, I'm sure we've got loads. There's loads of them. Rogo, we've got Commissars probably. That's a Polish looking name, Commissars. Chadislav. Chadislav. King Chadislav. Alright. I'm looking forward to this one. The situation. You can see the map and how chaotic it is. Basically, Russia is completely fucked. Hello, uh, Macbri. Hello. Uh, bon dia to you. So, it's the map is all over the place in Eastern Europe. Russia is just dead. Dzień dobry. Yeah. That's the one. So, we intend to keep it that way here, as Poland, as the Commonwealth. We don't want Russia to unite against us. We want to keep them weak, balkanized, and ultimately conquer them. Now, I don't know any of the lore of Poland in this mod, DoD Fan for, and I don't want it spoiled. I'm going in blind, so I'm going to take the events as they happen. The province map is being reworked for PLC. What, in this mod? TGC is going through a big province rework. I mean, come on. TGC is doing a massive event about adding new provinces. Haven't they got enough? Jesus, mate. 
PGC doing a massive province. What's it called? Mapathon. How many more provinces do you need? PGC is already the most provinced out mod there is, and now they're adding more. It's crazy. The Grand Poopy Map. But anyway, so the situation is, I think there's a, there's a lot of political turmoil in the Commonwealth. We have gotten some slight spoilers of what happens if we do things wrong. Because every time I've played this uh, DoD fanfuck in our other playthroughs, Aragon, Plantagenia, Poland Lithuania has completely collapsed each time to the AI. No way, bom dia mano. Being a slang in Sao Paulo for brother, but we usually casually with friends. Mano means hand. What's the big grey pop slice on the pie chart? Uh, that'll be surfs, I'm sure. That's going to be surfs. Because this is a... yeah, surfs. We want to abolish serfdom. That's going to be a big goal. So, we are going to still have our long intro, but let's actually open up the game. We're going to start having a look through the decisions available to us, and then soon we will unpause for a couple of days to get our big intro event, which is important. Now, okay, I mean, if you compare this, if you compare this to the normal Divergences of Darkness that I'll play in multiplayer in all my campaigns, the differences are immeasurable. I mean, we've got... How do you how do you best describe it? I mean, the vassals we have, or the sub-states, there's much more of them. So, what would be the Hetmanate? Would it, was it the Hetmanate? Yeah, the Hetmanate aka Ukraine, aka Cossacks, aka all that. That would be one giant substate encompassing this whole region. Here it's balkanized into like three. So the Uman Confederation, Zaporozhian host, Sloboda Ukraine host. Hello Zoro, uh, Zororang. We also have Smolensk and we have an alliance with Moscow. You see, it's very different. Thank you, Gilio, for the new Prime. Appreciate that, mate. Appreciate it. So, in our normal DoD that we know, this would be Belarus. Belarus. Um, but here it's Smolensk, and it includes Smolensk. I think I should open the other fucking mod to compare, but the Lithuanian... The Lithuanian substate in normal DoD... I say normal, it's not technically a normal DoD, but our DoD... The, the Lithuanian one is smaller, and the Belarusian substate owns a bit more of what would be considered Belarus, I think. And then it wouldn't own any of Smolensk. Hello, Beanbot. Oh yes, Gilio. We're not just going to be going after Russians here, or the mess of many different cultures. So this is split up here. Obviously we have Polish in the region of Poland. Yeah, we have Polish, of course. Down here we have Galicia. And we also have Malorussian, and Cossack, and Veliko Russian, or Great Russian, and then North Russian, aka Novgorod. And there's multiple countries, each with a set of accepted pops based on whichever bit of Russia they have. And then, so, obviously the lore is deep and fascinating, and the, the different cultures. We have Polish, Galician, and Ashkenazi Jewish accepted. So... That means obviously we have the Poles, and we also have these people here, the Galicians. And little dots spreaded around in various places, almost everywhere. You're going to find at least a 10 to 15% minority of Ashkenazi all over the place. Which, as a tactic of assimilation and stuff, just from a pure gameplay perspective, really good. I mean, it gives you a little base to start assimilating into, and you know, it's interesting. But anyway. Like, that's how the cultures are set up. Now, in the north... Because we're having an overview of the cultures in the country here in the intro, basically, what we're doing. In the north we have Balters. Balters. Those are Germans. When I actually first played the mod and looked around here as in the Aragon playthrough, I assumed that these were actually the Old Prussians. Uh, so you have Latvian, Lithuanian, and then Old Prussians still showing up here. But no, it's not. This is just uh, Germans. Basically, the Germans who live in the Baltic region. 
uh, which are historical people, but here they diverge more and they have their own unique culture. Yeah, oh no, it's late here. I hope you enjoy. I'm, like I said, everyone, just to make sure, once again, I'm going in blind. Uh, I don't know the event chains, and I'm going to go through it. Just like we did with Aragorn, basing my decisions on what I think is good and hoping for the best. So, Thalov Goth Moth, thank you very much for the new tier one sub right here in September. If you want to subscribe to the channel, this is the month to do it. It's September. Subs are discounted. Get them in right now. Baltars were the descendants of German Crusaders. So, in the Baltic, we have a little bit of ourselves, which has a decent population of Poles, about half and half. And we also have two separate states here. Three. We have the Duchy of Prussia, which is um, the equivalent of what is in our regular DLC. The DLC? I'm getting PLC and fucking, I don't know, in a regular mod, but it would be a blue colour, remember? A VOD watcher here, love the streams and videos, even though I can hardly catch anything live. Oh, great to have you stop by once, I appreciate it very much. You know, I, I appreciate the VOD crew, and it's nice that people who watch the VODs can occasionally stop by and say hello live, if they can make a stream. So that's good. So we have um, Duchy of Prussia, they accept the Balkers. Hello, Conric. We also have this Bishopric of Varmia, which uh, it accepts the Baltas and Polish. And then the Free City of Danzig, which actually has a lot of pops. I think this this Danzig has more pops than it does in base deal. Oh, that's GBA. GBA has changed his name. Uh, sorry to dead, uh, dead name you, mate. You've uh, become transnationality. You named yourself after, like, German or something. Thank you very much, 13 Pitch Black Cat, for the Prime. We're getting great subs today. I appreciate it, everyone. Thank you. Two months. And then Danzig accepts the Baltus. So, we've got a very interesting tapestry of uh, substates. Do they actually... Are they classified as substates? I don't know. Yes. Lithuania is a substate. Prussia is a substate. Bishopric of Vormia is a substate. Danzig is a substate. But... Okay, Uman is a substate, but Sloboda Ukraine host is only a satellite. Now, I did explain in the Poland Lithuania series uh, the difference between satellites and substates. And uh, Smolensk is a satellite rather than a substate. I believe the main difference is that you cannot release substates with a mere release puppet caster's belly. Yeah, that's it really. Other than that, they work the same. There wasn't a huge deluge, so Northern Poland was shred to pieces population development-wise. You mean, there was in real life, they were shredded in real life, but not here. Then we look at the culture map mode, then of course we have Lithuanians, which is our substate. This Grand Duchy of Lithuania has Litvin. What's Litvin? Just quickly give me the rundown on Litvin, that's a big culture here. It's this, uh, this white one bordering Lithuanians and Veliko Russians. It must be equivalent to Belarusian. Yeah, Belarusians. That's the primary culture of Lithuania, but they also accept Lithuanian Polish. And uh, Vilno or Vilnius is a uh, Litvin's... It's Lithuanian in Slavic. Oh. Yeah, that's, a, that's my question, Mario Savi. Yeah. And then Vilnius or Vilno, like equally balanced between everyone here. In real life, if you look at the demographics of some of these fucking Lithuanian cities, it'll like start like this in 1800, but then magically after World War II, it'll become 100% Lithuanian. Crazy how that happened. But, but I digress. Belarusians also use the Grand Duchy as a major part of their history. Yeah. I suppose any Belarusians who want to break, you know, if Belarusians want to get away from Russia and claim, oh, we hate Russia, we hate Russia, they'll look to the history of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, I suppose, and try to go, try to take pride in that instead of Russia. Um, something like that. 
Most of the Lithuanian nobility has changed to Belarusian. Lithuanians coming out of their forest huts to start inhabiting cities, yeah. Coming out of the little pagan forest huts, getting converted to Christianity and then living in a city. So, Smolensk here has Veluk, Russian and Litvin. Basically, there aren't any discrepancies with accepted cultures in the whole country. It's all kind of based around, you know, reasonable stuff. Hello Sparta, by the way. What's your formable? We're going to look at that very, very soon. So, everything's divided nicely along cultural lines. The Lithuanians have Lithuania. I have the Poles and the Galicians. Mainly, we have a lot of, uh, a lot of luck. <laughs> we have uh, quite a lot of this region here, which is Malorussian. It's a min plurality, but also a great uh, Polish minority there as well. And then we have this one, which accepts Melorussian, and then over here we have that accepting that and that. So, and then up north we have some substates also accepting the Germans. So everything's kind of divided nicely along those lines. Any colonies? Do we have that island? Guess what? We have the island. We have the island I like to call Sweaty Andrew. Like, it's just guy, guy just cannot fucking stop sweating. Wutsk, not luck. I know. Look, I know. I know, you're, you're going to get pretty, uh, a Sveti Andri, 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 you're going to get decent attempts at pronunciation from me. Do you know 99, if you watch 99% of YouTubers and streamers, they'll be unable to pronounce anything. Sveti means old, doesn't it? Sveti Andri. It means old. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it means old. But someone else is saying it means holy. It means saint. Oh, it does mean fucking holy. Fuck. What's old? Old is starry. Starry is old. Star. Stara. Starry. Polish W equals English V sound. I know that. That's the, that's the most basic. Even some people who have fuck all knowledge of languages might work that one out. Saint Andrew. Yeah. Saint of Scotland. So anyway, I like to think that I can give uh, some decent pronunciations and uh, attempts at pronouncing stuff linguistically. Uh, many people have no clue what's going on. So that's an overview of the pops. Let's put the taxes up, get ready, move towards readiness to unpause. We have the Catholic party in power, they're anti-military. We have a reactionary. This reactionary party is agrarian, so we don't really want them. This uh, this liberal party is protectionist and interventionist. This uh, conservative party is actually laissez-faire. We start with some nice factories. But, wait. Okay, wait now, hold on a minute. The party we have in power is not here. The party we have in power <laughs> it's a uh, protectionist and intervention. Okay, I made the name for the political parties. Here we go, Komodo here, making the Partia Katoli Katolitska. Katolitska. Hello, Noki. You start as the deep state. That's a good comment. I mean, that's interesting. Komodo is admitting he's the one who made the names for the political parties, and then we're noticing the political parties here are essentially glitched. Deep same. How do you pronounce the... I'm going to ask the pronunciation of S-E-J-M. Is it pronounced shame? Shame? Or same? Shame. Shame. So it's just shame. Shame on you. Shameful display. Same. Is it S? Is it S or SH? You know, other YouTubers and other streamers would look at this and go, huh, that's the Sejim. That's how they'd say it. But no, I, I know. It's same. Okay, it's not shit. It's, it's, uh... Sure, it's either sir or sure. I swear to God I've seen Polish words pronounced as shit without a thing on the top, but that could just people be lazily doing it without writing the diacritic. Maybe. Is there a free city of Danzig? Yes, there is. 
Noki, you say that as if those two things are two different, distinct things. That is literally the same person. Anyway, um, so if, I'm just going to leave that party in power and then there'll be an election and then something will happen. You can hit the subsidies on that. We've only got one national focus. Tech. Oh dear, we don't have the rights of fucking man. Oh god, the tech. Oh Jesus, oh. Let's get the rights of man. Fucking hell. Uh, so, admin efficiency is pretty good off the bat, so I'll just start by putting on some clergymen. What are we aiming for this campaign? I don't know the event chains, I'm going in blind, but my goals are going to be pretty normal, just expansion against preventing a large Russia from forming, getting rid of them, and then maybe also expanding, because we've got accepted pops elsewhere here, you know? we got decent amounts of accepted pops in Slovakia. Hmm. So I might want to have a cheeky grab at them as well. You need to know one thing, Stanislav. Stanislav. So, the army. The army, the army. Gather it all around Warsaw over here. Is there a free download for this game? Maybe. But you're not going to find that out here on my stream or my Discord. People can, you know, that's not, you know, you know what I mean. You know, it says you're asking for piracy, and that's wrong. Build some of this, and then Valley Point, Warsaw. Do not uh, give. Do not disclose the locations of piracy-related materials. Just remember, Pow Panther, seek and you shall find. But we're not going to give you the information. You wouldn't download a mo You wouldn't steal a car. You wouldn't steal... You wouldn't partition a Poland. Piracy is against the law and not condoned by Spodgun. I agree. Condone means accept and what to do, right? Check the Africa and Trinidad colonies. I want to see what pops. Well... Keep it in mind that the, our colony here in the Caribbean is starting with 7.51k pops. Keep that in mind. And we'll see how much that grows. Actually, you know what? To make sure I remember, let's just write a battle plan. I find it... I find the concept of using battle plans to write information on the screen pretty interesting. No one does it. But when you think about it, it might actually be useful. Because it's kind of, it's kind of weird and unprecedented. You don't get it in any other Paradox game. You don't... Can you name a Paradox game where you get the ability to straight up just write text on the map? You don't get that in any other game. Like, when you think about it, it's actually a pretty unique feature. Poi 3? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know. You can do, yeah, it's just a battle plan. It's intended for battle plans, but you can use it to write notes. You can use it to have little things to remember. At one point in one multiplayer campaign I did, I actually, I created a big battle plan and I said, remember to stop shadow funding in giant text. Um, when I started shadow funding, wrote that. And then to remind myself when the war starts to stop shadow funding. Yeah, renaming is not the same. You can rename provinces in loads of games, including EU4. So, that's um, opening mechanical setups. Next thing I want to take a look at is our decisions. Everything normal so far. Destroy serfdom. It's, serfs are not a good pop to have. You do want to abolish serfdom. You can write Commonwealth and other nations to technically conquer them. So, we want to destroy serfdom, but that is a lot of requirements. What the fuck are these requirements? Basically, you just need a lot of liberals in the upper house. And years after 1880. And then, you have to have a flag nobility are gone, which is going to be part of the event chain. Great Romania is a generic decision. The new act of union. Commonwealth has experienced a severe decay in the last century. Problems with the same... 
Foreign intervention meets the government led to a near breakup. Now have we reasserted our dominance, our status in the European concert. So that would involve nobility are gone, debt lot. This requires getting rid of serfdom, I think. Oh, comprehensive miracle. I think that involves getting rid of that, or just getting rid of the reform. One of the following must be true. So we have to keep all the substates. And then that one there, one of the following must be true. Do not have the global flag first partition. Well, no shit. Hello, uh, you can get the band candidate for... The You're spoiling it, Chad Todd, already, sort of. Thanks for that. So... Um... And I have to have revolution and counter-revolution. Scroll down more. What else have we got? Oh, nothing. That's fine, though, because we really want to get into the event chain. It happens early. You can get the banned candidate for the Polish throne in power and get it started early. Hmm. Maybe it's it's not a, it's not terrible. Okay, I mean, I'm against spoilers in general. But there are little things that you can't really know otherwise. It's fine. It's not that bad. But before I unpause, I'm going to get a cup of tea all right will you bear with me we have a nice high viewership for this and i'm about to end that by going to have a two minute break right just a sec let me write the five minute or two minutes uh okay boom boom stay right where you are i'll be back in a couple of minutes Right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, welcome back to me, and uh, we're ready to get the show on the road. Let's get straight to the starting event and see what it says. Um, okay, we have to... Come on, Ingalus! Score some fucking dough! 
Thank you, Strapoli, very much for the 30 months. 30 months. So. Okay, right. Let's start. Which one do we start with? Well, uh. Jacques Pospolita is a good place to start because that is what we are. It's so back. The Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth has been in decline since the 17th century. The Crown of Poland and Lithuania. Lith hey, spelling mistake. Spelling mistake. Komodo. <laughs> Powers just noticed. The first member of the chat to no notice the, uh, the bowling tag. We'll talk about that later. Some people who watch the last stream will know. People are finally giving me the the um the the recognition I deserve for my pronunciation. There you go. Uh, so they're forced to give several concessions to the nobility over centuries, making the elected king nothing more than a glorified puppet in the hands of the magnet the magnates, holding huge domains where serfdom still pre still prevails. And the way they the way they keep the serfs on the land is that they have giant magnets and they make the serfs have a giant like metal uh, implant. You don't know what's misspelled? Oh, Lithuania. Lithuania. There might be a bit of delay in the chat if people are only just noticing me talking about the misspelling. Because um, I did mention that, but I moved on. So, the union between Crown of Poland... Does anyone remember that gif? Fucking... Metal heads when I dig a giant magnet under the ground and it's someone falling down onto the ground. Anyway, um, the union between the crown of Poland and its Ruthenian and Lithuanian territories has weakened as the hetmans and foreign powers influence the governors of these areas. Poland is not vulnerable to revolution thanks to a relatively liberal political situation, but if the magnates aren't kept in check, it's hard to see what will happen to Poland. All right. Walter White is the moment. Lithuanians, when Lithuanians walk in. Si Deus nobiscum quis contra nos. Uh, what does that mean? That's, if God... Um, what? Like, something against us. Noki, you know your Latin, don't you? If God is with us, then who is against us? Oh, if God is with us, who is against us? Welcome back, Beanbot. Enjoy it. This gives us uh, golden liberties until 1950. The whole game, big ruling party support, rich vote, militancy down, consciousness down. However, we also get the inevitable same, which gives us militancy and consciousness, but not as much as we lose by far. And then Cass's belly acquisition speed minus 300%. That's fine. Manual justification. That's actually fine. The way we play these anyway is that we don't tend to do justified wars. We tend to actually just go with the event wars anyway. Sorry, I can't see the text. I'm on the phone. Oh. No worries. Okay, then we have peace in the steps. The past few years have seen the Western Pontic step enjoy an era of relative peace. While in the west, the Zaporizhian and Dnieper hosts watch the unstable Polish-Lithuanian southeastern borders, the Don Cossacks have recognised the Prince of Ryazan as their liege. The Don Cossacks. Don Cossacks. Right, the Don host. That's the Don. Very confusing because the Don is a river that goes through Aberdeen as well. Don. The river Don. Look it up. True. Um... The Dons have joined Ryazan, the Russians. Bad. Boo! And then we have the Donetsian host, which is basically like uh, the Donetsk People's Republic. Am I right, guys? Are we downloading Ruthenians? No, you wouldn't download a Ruthenian. You wouldn't steal a car. Uh, anyway, the border raids with the Tatars still happen. It will need a drastic change in the global situation to see the Cossack host back on the warpath. Should one of the hosts be annexed, or their neighbours become too powerful, they will surely unite into a single host and form a power in its own right. Okay. Is that it then? So, we're progressing. Did that unlock any new decisions? No, right? So, that's it. 
Make sure we have good relations with everyone. Oh, the Zaporizhian hosts don't have good relations, and the Slobora Ukraine, so might as well start fixing that. Probably a good idea. And uh, the industry, someone's even building a factory, build, building luxury clothes. The Baltars demand old rights. I think that's a, an event event and not a generic event. So the Baltar privileges give us minus 90% factory output and throughput. Just complete uselessness. The Baltars are outraged by our attacks upon their feudal codes. They have pointed to numerous laws and treaties created in the past by which our ancestors conferred upon them eternal rights and autonomy. So they have a monopoly on local governments. This, uh, where has that appeared? It's not in Thorn. Ah, the, the, um, the Balta places. Wait, is, that's not on my whole country. That's just a, a province by province thing. It's an event from the mod. So it's just started off in Deersha. This It's fascinating how these places actually have the German names, even though they're ruled by me. That's how dominant the local Balters are. Maybe that's intentional. So it's in Deershaw. It might move to Thorn as well. But that will be the only other place it should move to. Yeah, Vilka Polska over here is way more Polish. Barely any Albians there. And if I do look at my population pie chart, 58% Polish. 58% Polish isn't actually that great when you consider that this is the bit of land I own directly is actually just main Pol mainland Poland. But even in that, it's only 58%, let alone all the land out here where there's fuck all Poles. But through assimilation, hard work, and whatever, we can fix the situation. At least we have the Galicians to give us a nice 15%, and then the Ashkenazis. What's the majority job type in HVE? You you have? Oh. Uh, Sarf. Sarfs. We want to get rid of that. You never check the Senegal colony. I don't... Do I? What do you mean the Senegal colony? I don't have. That's Kurland. It's Kurland. Hello, Isopropi and Tefebeb. We need Palestine? Okay, let's not go there. Let's not go there. Military production is not great, but not terrible. Oh, whoa, 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 what's all this? Even more. A lot more troops. Where did all of them come from? Isn't Kulin your substate? No. Independent with Scandi Sphere. Why aren't you watching the match? What match? What match? Well, since we do have the football tag, remember, we can look up. We're, we're going to talk about bowling as well at some point, okay? The match. Fair, you mean Faroe Islands versus Moldova? Oh, right. It's 1-0 Moldova. Or Montenegro versus Bulgaria. Kazakhstan beat Northern Ireland 1-0. Oh, it's rugby. Actually, we don't have that as a tag. Fuck that. If we don't have it as a tag, we don't talk about it. Forget it. Maybe the game we're really looking forward to is Greece versus Gibraltar at quarter to eight. Faro Islands versus Moldova was wild. Yeah, what a game. What a game. I mean, it started up... Like, the two teams couldn't even find each other. Like, who is away, who is home? The Moldovans were like, you're playing Faroe Islands today, let's get the travel arrangements set. And they had no idea where they were going. They couldn't even leave Moldova, they basically, they ended up in fucking Transnistria. Poland versus Albania is tomorrow. How do those two groups of people find each other? What are their views on each other? Speed three it while we wait for things to materialise.
So I've been told that we're going to have an opportunity to have a, a sort of early king who can get out of serfdom early and do lots of things, but I'm assuming there's going to be some downsides. I'm assuming that might lead to some extra civil wars. We have a military good shortage here, we're not really... We're not getting that. If I defund the army, I might be able to funnel some of those goods into that. I don't think Poles and Albanians have any strong history together. Nah, they, maybe they don't even know who each other are. They, they don't know anything. Ah, there we go, we're building stuff. Good, very good. We need to get into as strong a position as possible. Increase relations with military access. Hungary! Yeah, Hungary's an ally here. We just got a royal marriage. Moldova's an ally. Moldova has a lot of my accepted pops in the two northern provinces. Only one national focus. I know! The tech and the literacy is absolute crap as Poland. It's terrible. Eat Moldova. I can't justify in other countries. So no. I cannot justify. Manual justification blocked. We are in a status quo that prevents random wars. Wait for future events to unlock justification. Be patient, lads. So. We had a lot of subs, we talked a little bit about football, I think the football tag is good there, I think we met that. Lack of canned food though, hmm, bad. Can't eat Moldova, we can't war with a wholesome little Poland. Sixty-six mobilization is good though. I don't think anyone can stand a chance against us. Status quo when debug always diplo walks in the room. I don't know if that would even work. I don't know. Oh well, we're building some stuff. We're building some stuff. The modifier literally tells you to sit down. Uh, and be patient. Is this uh, a generic? This is generic. Yeah, but it's generic and we can get two prestige. I think becoming a great power would be a good thing. I think adding all our substates to our sphere manually would be beneficial. That would be very beneficial. I also want to get relations up. An alliance would give us a lot of relations. Yeah. I want to make sure that these substates can never break away or the puppets, whatever. Yep, keep good relations, keep them in line, and prepare for the rocky road that's going to be coming ahead. Good taxes. And there's your round of applause for me. Yeah, I will be uh, increasing relations. However, there are always a, a you know there's always a diplo point backlog or, um, bottleneck. Plop's economic guide. Oh my god, Plop! That's a name I have not heard for a while. Plop. Fucking hell. Yeah, we can barely even get a 27k stack sitting on provinces due to the terrible supply limit we currently have. Three point one six research. Can I get some pain in the chat or some doom? Can we get all of that for this terrible research points? 
What do the what does the rights of man give us? Straight off the bat, we get a national focus. We get research points plus fifteen percent lessons from the German Revolution. Declaration of the rights of man, not much. Siberian riches. Um, power of tradition, and then a research points plus ten percent. Hello, aerial nowhere man. Just a world. Hello. Wallachian Alliance, why not? This is a mobilized stack here. Also the clergyman percentage. The fucking clergyman percentage. What is it in the whole country? 0 0.7! Ah. Can I get some more pain? And more uh, doom in the chat? All the pain and the doom. It's hard enough having to deal with the event chains from this country that are going to be rough and difficult. We also get non-existent tech, non-existent clergy. Hey, Curlin's my ally now there. It's rough, okay? It's rough. What? What's all this sold? What's with the soldier pops? Fucking hell! Um. What are these soldier pops all about, mate? Crazy. Um. My soldier percentage is four point two. Four point two is a crazy soldier percentage to start the game with. I'm hoping that there are no provinces I have which are massive outliers and have like. Like an individual province of like 25% soldiers. I hope that's not the case because they always disappear. But it looks like it's pretty evenly balanced across the board, making me a very strong military country. 4%. 4% is a really big early game soldier pop percentage. Really big. That is crazy. And a round of applause for that. Check cores. Well, okay, my cores are, I have cores on everything that are my substates. Does that give me actual revanchism? Yes, it does. I get 14% revanchism. But what does revanchism actually give me directly in this mod? The only thing it would give me directly is fucking uh, bundle of sticks party support. But that doesn't exist yet. How come you have two different sized clap emojis? Noki is using one from Better Twitch TV, and Charlie is using like a generic, like phone emote one. Is one of the generals a Grzegor Bzgashkabnishnishnishnish niche? I hope so. How can we survive without that man? Wouldn't revanchism increase the chance of pop promoting the soldiers? It might do, but I'm a little bit hazy on that mechanic. Can I actually look it up? Hey, my soldiers are demoting to labourers though, some of them. Hey, my soldiers are mass demoting! No! 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 Don't do that. And that could be because of the military spending forced on us by this party. This party is anti-military, my other conservative party is anti-military, my liberals are pacifist, the only hope are the reactionaries, but they're agrarian, so I wouldn't have an industry, so our parties are fucking us over to start the game here. I think some, uh, we're going to lose some of these soldier pops, although we've just gone up to 72. We have just gained another about 10. What the fuck? Maybe it must be the revanchism that's driving this, I can't think of anything else it would be. You're right. Yeah, a reason for them demoting would be that they haven't been built yet. We're going to have a lot of very small stacks everywhere. Because I can't make big stacks, because they'll just die to attrition, even in my own land. Um, relations, relations, relations.
A lot of the substates have cores on each other, but that shouldn't affect anything. No Reddit 30k stack? Not until we have at least medicine. Preferably inorganic chemistry as well for that. How does AI get partitioned with that many brigades? Maybe just the event chains or um, them not being able to muster the troops correctly. Terrible revanchism. Yeah, I'm not the only one here with revanchism. Which one? This one has bad relations. Military access. Pro tip, increase relations for the country by offering military access if they'll accept it. That way, you get bonus relations, but it's only one diplo point. So Brzech, Brzech must be the Polish word for Brest, with the city. That's why I just, I support Belarus owning that city so it doesn't have that Polish name. I can't really, I can't really support anything being called Brzech, Brzech, fucking hell. It's just like the word for hello. Fuck. Imagine being Polish and you have to go around saying that to everyone. Chest, 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 chest. How do you fucking do that? Ridiculous. How do they do it? Name it to Kurvagrad. What's the Polish equivalent of Grad for the name of a city? Gorod. Are there any Polish cities with Grad, Gorod? Brzezhch Litewski. Hello, um, Uberslink. Grod. Hey, Spudgun, can you say it through thorough thought without messing up? Yes. Grod. So fucking many soldiers. Luxury clothes, we're gonna have a little bit of a, a lack of light cavalry. What is the goal of your campaign? To make an amazingly strong country, dominate Eastern Europe, get to the end of the event chain successfully, survive. Nothing crazy. And with the size of army that I'm making here and the fact that I'm making money as well, I think that is uh, going to be possible. Warsaw, Lvov, Krakow, Lukov, so I'd say W is their grad. No, no, you're wrong. Everyone, they just explained it. No. That's linguistically unsound, JBA. Okay. The death of Maximilian III. The king of the Commonwealth has died in Warsaw after 20 years of rule mostly marked by his inability to hold any power in his kingdom. Skill issue. All the sames convened by Maximilian III were defeated by the use of liberum veto, the right for any noble to oppose proposals of the assembly, and the perfading influence of Scandinavia and Bohemia. L plus Rip Bozo. Uh, 
Despite his political weakness, he leaves a good memory to the citizens of Warsaw that have gathered in huge crowds for his funeral. Now the preparatory same will convene to select candidates to his succession with his son Stanislav in good place to succeed him. Farewell, Maximilian. What is he, German? Yeah, Warsaw isn't even Warsaw in Polish. You, you've got to know that. You, you can't... You've got to realise that. Habsburgs? L plus rip, bozo, plus skill issue. Hello King Dills, good to see you in the chat. What's this? Burgundian troops moving around. Rovne, Rovne. The, the, I've been reliably informed that the, the O with a thing above it is pronounced OO, OO more or less. Rovne. Lukov. Are we Habsburg Poland? Well, we sort of have that elective monarchy thing. We could be anyone's Poland at the blink of an eye, I think. Whoever we have a royal marriage with. That's a big army. We, fucking, we could take on Bohemia right now. We could crush Bohemia. Big army, big mobilisation. If I could justify war, I would be uh, justifying on Bohemia. Lukov isn't Lukov, it's Wukov. Wukov. Call it Uwuku. It's uh, Wukov. It's, it, when people start trying to transliterate Polish into English, it gets so confusing because that L with a line through it is pronounced W. So when people start to use W to say that, so that English people can understand, you might then assume that those W's that people are using to represent that L with a line through it actually are the Polish W, which is pronounced V, but it's W. It's fucked. Polish language is a little bit fucked, to be honest. But we can get through it. We can accept that. I have to admit, I don't know what is happening, nor do I know any one thing about Victoria. I'm still enjoying the stream. That is a testament to my personal entertainment skills and pure oozing charisma. Did you just join the stream today after like browsing on Twitch and you've just happened upon this? And you're just getting bombarded with pure raw entertainment? Did the Chad Suave event chain start yet? We're going to get that, okay? Don't spoil much more. We're going to get this guy, okay? Oosing Charisma. Nice one, JB. Nice. What's with the bowling tag? We'll be. We'll get to that. Everyone in the chat, who was here for the last stream where we did the Cowboy King? Who was here for it? Who was here? Remember? I've actually built too much infantry. I was, I was, I was, me, 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 I was, I was. Then all of you should know why we have bowling as a tag on the stream. You should all know. That's no worries, Komodo. I was asleep. I'm here because I was browsing the bowling tag. Oh yes, Tefebeb is uh, looking for bowling streams, so you happened upon this, but then you go, oh, it's Victoria 2, why does it have bowling on it? Well, for everyone who wasn't here on the previous one, which is a lot of people since we have like three times we had on that stream, because I did a community post and it's an epic new campaign starting and all, and all that, that's probably why. Hello, Lidoge. Yesterday, well, the lore of this goes all the way back to having the football tag, but I think more of you know about that because it was in a video, and 
an original Aragon stream which had a high fewer count. But basically, and by the way, my clergyman has gone up. It's <laughs> three years to research rights of man, by the way, before we get into bowling. Just fucking just let that sink in. Oh, the same in deadlock. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's deal with this. Let's deal with this. At least we instantly get some research points. So it's gone up from like 3.4 to 3.8. The same has been confined for already several months and it has not been able to advance a definitive list of candidates for the, to the succession of Maximilian III. The main problem resides in the candidacy of Istan Stanislav, a well-known liberal... Liberal? Cringe! Let's get someone else. No. An independent noble, which is seen as a threat by both the foreign powers of Scandinavia and Bohemia, but also by the most powerful, powerful nobles of the country, who fear he will try to rescind their privileges. The liberation of his serfs in his own domain in 1833 is already widely criticised by the Magnateria, while well, giving Stanislav widespread popularity. We're going for Stanislav. Let's get this lad. Remove the inevitable same. Remove manual justification blocked. Those are very good things. The inevitable same is shit, and then manual justification being blocked is shit. This is an extremely good deadlock, thank you. Rus Cher Cervona. Does that mean... No, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Something to do with Russians. What is that? Oh, which region is that? Where is it? Which region is that, lads? It's this one. It's this one here. Stretching. It's got Lvov, Bells, Helm, Prezemsil, and Novi Sach. Red Ruthenia. Okay. Stan, our man Stan. My sub doesn't appear, but I get the emotes. Well, thanks, King Dill, if you did subscribe. Prezemsil. Pre or is it Prezemsil? Fuck. Oh, the Y is before the S. It's Prezemsil. Fucking hell. Don't come Bohemia while you can. Nah, 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 nah. nah. It's not, it doesn't really work like that. It doesn't really work like that. It's probably not a good idea to do that because I'll get some crippling event in the middle of the war where I get three substates rising up against me. RZ is a je, so yeah, Pjem. Pjem Michel. Because the RZ is in Zech Pospolita, so je. Pjem Michel. Fuck me, mate. Polish people walking up to a nice bit of land and going, oh yes, this is a nice bit of land. Let's call it Pejemishul. Great. Fantastic. Good job. Anyway, um, the next tech. Ideological thought doesn't unlock till 1840. Freedom of trade would be an excellent choice, I think. We, we don't have money issues though. Money isn't the problem. We do have an industrial boost of 5%. Commerce boost of 15%, mate, that's shit. Maybe we should, um, we should restore the academia, really. Um, hide extra decisions, but go that's open government decisions. You know, can I restore the academia? Because that is absolute fucking shit. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, I can do it. But... Uh, let's let's do medicine. Let's do medicine with the five percent boost, and then restore the academia. I think because uh, absolute garbage uh, academia tree, like commerce tech boost. We could use. Tell you what, we could use the commerce tech boost to get this one, late classical theory, which contains one of them. Some of these do contain research points, don't they? Which one is it that has research points? Is it this one? No. Which one of these has research points, lads? I swear, I swear to God one of them does. It was that one. But well, that's not specific, because I've clicked on many of them. Not anymore, it got removed? Okay. Oh, I'm number nine. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to be kept out of GP. I want to be a GP. It's better off that I sphere things to increase my market, because this isn't like multiplayer where another great power could sphere me. 
and I would want that. That won't happen. Unless I'm in Bohemia Sphere. No, I only card that. I, I want to be a great power so I can sphere multiple other places. Sphere my own substates. Because right now, they are my puppets and satellites and all that, but they're not in the same market because I'm not sphered. It would be good to sphere them so I can get access to their, their artisans and stuff. Uh, you know. I also want capitalists. I, I'm not getting any factories here. To be fair, I can upgrade the ones I have. I'm on interventionist. So what else are we doing? Uh, what I was going to say something. Oh yeah, bowling. So two days ago, we completed the Cowboy King run on Plantagenia in the same mod. And by the way, uh, since that campaign, I have updated the mod slightly. They did some patch like a few days ago or in the last week. I have updated, fully updated as of now. Does this mod need DLC or does it work with base game? You need the DLC. But some other idiot was wrongly asking about pirating earlier, so... Mm. Disgusting, but... That would include the DLC, hypothetically, if that were to happen wrongly, which I completely reject. Uh, so, bowling. Right, in the in that Arcadia stream, fucking Pantagenia, we, uh, we ended up going off on a tangent about basketball. And for the last few weeks, we've also had... Uh, Football is a big topic, and we have the football. They were asking for the pirates in the pirate struggle, dude. There you go, there you go. Downloading online is terrible. I agree. I agree. You should you should buy manual CDs of all your software and games. Including Norton Antivirus One Year Disc Official Pack. I remember years and years ago going to the fucking PC World as it was. It's called it's PC World. It's been bought over by another company now, Carries, I think. But you'd go in there and you'd get you'd see rows and rows of software in discs and stuff, disc format packs. Not just games, but software like antiviruses, your video editing, music stuff, all of that. I don't think you get that anymore, even in the same shops. You might, you might do. I haven't looked. The good old days, indeed. But I mean, even at the time where you had those discs, you could still get all those online, anyway. But yeah, it's all redundant. I remember those days I even have some of those discs. Now, I, I do have a few games lying around, but I never ever got any software discs. Not that I, well, I never fucking downloaded very much in the way of advanced software back in the day either, I suppose, so I wouldn't need it. But anyway, 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 so we talked about, we went off on a big tangent about basketball the other day. I can't remember why, I think someone just brought it up in the chat. So, a theme of these single player streams is we like to go off on tangents about sports that started mainly with football. And we did a, a deep dive on basketball the other day and I learned about it. I learned about the World Cups, I learned about how the Domestic American League works. I learned that for some reason basketball is huge in Lithuania and quite big in Germany. But a lot of Lithuanian players and German players move to America to play in the American Domestic League because that's where the glory is and the big money and games and everything. And Britain does have basketball. We do play it somewhere, sometimes. It's big in Serbia too, I think. Oh, there you go. We also happened, when we were looking through the rosters of some teams, we, we found a, a Croatian player and a Slovenian player. So this is a theme all around Eastern Europe. All around Eastern Europe there's some, some basketball. But anyway, we did basketball that time and we were joking, you know, maybe each different stream we look at a random like new sport and do a deep dive and learn about the scene. And we were joking that in another stream, someone else, someone also mentioned bowling. And then we find out, yeah, prof professional bowling leagues exist. Which is a little bit weird if you think about it. I mean, bowling, right? Me and most people do bowling very occasionally for fun. Okay, we're not good and it's a, it's a challenge and all that. But if you're a professional bowling player and you do that even for a living, how can it be how can it be anything other than the case that you just get a strike every time? If you're really good at bowling, you have the exact weight of your preferred balls, and you just know it, and you do it every day, you practice it millions of times. 
How can you not get a strike every time and then therefore there's no competition? How do people... How do people become a bowling professional and not just get a strike? It's basically everyone scoring 300 and you lose by mistakes. And I, I was thinking... I was thinking, so... I'm sorry for the tangent if you're here for Victoria 2 gameplay, but... Uh, I've got the bowling tag. It's like darts. Uh, to be fair, yeah, darts. But I'm thinking... Darts is obviously a big one as well. That's a big sport. And it's actually one that's big in the UK, unlike fucking basketball. Darts is like that. But I can see how darts even takes some skill. And it's but but with bowling, it's like if you know the exact place to throw it, the exact weight, and you've just you've got it down to an absolute fine art. You surely get a strike every time. But there's other forms of bowling in Germany. Maybe like the special bowling that has that comes up with obstacles in the thing. And but anyway, bowling has nuances. Right, hold on. Um, if we just go on YouTube in a second here, hold on, and I will search up some video about professional bowling. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, in darts you bring your own darts, the air is the same. Fuck, I read that as in darts you bring your own air for a second. Uh, I'm searching up professional bowling. Uh, and the first result is this. Let's have a reaction. Let me just get rid of the advert before I put it on the screen. Let's see what this is all about. Okay. Get rid of the advert. Okay, right. Have we got the... Uh, let's see. Everything set up here. Yes. All right. A big tangent. Sorry if you're here. Right. Let's see what bowl professional bowling is all about. 2021 USBC... Masters Stepladder Finals. Pool PBA Bowling Telecast. Right, this is the first result for professional bowling. What are they doing? He's only 18 years old. He's 18. Oh, look at that technique. What the fuck? Look at that technique. The stream... We have bowling as a stream... Look at that technique. Back. I can't go back. I can't click it. Alright, we'll just continue. Is in the hunt to become the youngest player to ever win. That fucking Guaranteed technique, I never would have PBA thought they would do it. Like, oh my god. They use two hands. Really best, use the others. Yes, Svensson. Yes, Svensson. Svensson. It's big in Europe. Look up Microsoft SXL Esports. No, we'll do that a different stream. Do I get copyrighted for doing this? This is my first ever reaction live on stream. But we're just going to skim through it. So you can look at the thing down here. People have really watched these clips around here. And then it kind of falls off after that. So people are all about this bit. One. And, oh, and then there's an advert. Because I don't I have not logged in. But you get the idea. I don't actually want to spend long on it. I actually want to get back to Vic 2. So now that we know, we know that there is professional bowling. We know they have crazy techniques. When I remember whenever I played bowling, we, we don't hold the ball with two hands like that when you lay it down. We um, just take one hand, sort of kneel down forward in a linear fashion. But then these professionals have crazy techniques. I think bowling is weird. Have you ever heard of Pro XL? So that's interesting. That's a, I think we've managed to justify having the bowling tag on the stream. So... Whenever you talk swimming, I'm the expert. All right. Well, swimming is something I can completely understand. Because when I when I thought about professional bowling, I'm like, it doesn't make sense. How could you have that? How do you not get a full amazing strike every time? But swimming, obviously, that's a great sport. Next. Okay, support for foreign abolitionism. Why should I get involved in making the fucking Flandre Supérieure 
Plantagen, how did that happen so early over here? What the fuck? No, wait, 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 that's meant to be. I thought... Okay, I'm getting confused. For some reason I thought that uh, the Belgians had been balkanized by losing the war, but no, that's how they start. So let's... The, the Polish uh, link to Haiti and abolishing slavery, it's real. There you go. And we're doing it. The Cato Street Conspiracy? I think that's a generic event. My stepfather broke his pinky every time he went bowling. He's a lefty, and whenever he tried with his right, he broke his pinky. So just do it with your left then. Okay, we're up to 4.28 research points. The Black Procession. Okay, hello Lawrence. Following the deadlock of the preparatory same, several prominent members of the Polish bourgeoisie, including delegates from Kiev, Danzig, or Vilnius, gather. Do we even own... Where is... Where is Kiev? Kiev. 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 They've gathered in the streets of the capital to hasten the process and demanding ro more rights for the people no belonging to the nobility. The burghers had been protesting the difference for, of treatment for years, but it was the first time such an event was organised. While well, the mayor of Warsaw, Michael Konopka, I don't think that's how they say it in Polish, uh, was officially the main organiser of the march. It was widely understood that this was coordinated by Stanislav Habsburg, it is Habsburg, confirmed to strengthen his partisans in the same. While completely pacific, going against Stanislav could prove to be to provoke troubles with the liberal movements. And then no effects of the event. Just, yeah, that's it. Giga Chadislav, that's him. Island check. Oh, it's up. It's doubled. It's more than doubled already, boys. And it's the Afro Germanics have been reduced significantly. That's it's already getting huge. It's massive. And I'm going to keep it as a colony so that everyone migrates in. It gives me baby boom chance. Look at that. Crazy. And by the way, do we have any the RGO there? Sugar. We don't have any of that in our own land, so it's important. By the way, how are the RGOs for me? So. We have some iron, we have some lead, do we have coal? We have coal, were there any others? Was there not a bronze? Was there not a fuck? is it just, ah, um, copper, yeah, do we have copper? No, but we do in our puppets, okay, interesting. Sverti Andrei, crown jewel of the Commonwealth. The Hungarian Conference, invitation. The recent deposition of the King of Hungary by nobles and the offering of the vacant throne to Sigismund V of the Holy Roman Empire were met with animosity in Scandinavia and Burgundy. After all, Article 18 of the Treaty of Paris, which ended the Great German War, explicitly forbade any member of the Empire's ruling house of Jagiellon to be King of Hungary. So the Jagiellons are in Bohemia, and the Habsburgs are in Poland. It's all over the place. It's fucking crazy. Don't suck up to Scandi. Don't tell me what to do. But no, I can agree with that. Fuck Scandi. So, a new European Congress has been called in Venice, Paris, being deemed too biased for the Bohemians to be accepted by Burgundy and Scandinavia. We've been invited to this thing about Hungary. I guess my interest would be for Hungary to not join the HRE. The East withdraws! No! 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 The inability for the Commonwealth to manage the problems in Smolensk has led to a complete loss of influence in the East. The Cossacks have stopped reporting to registry and begun to pursue an independent policy. No, they're gone. We're going to get them back. We're going to get them back. By the way, was there any way for me to prevent that? I, I doubt it. There wasn't any way for me to prevent that, was there? By the way, that's all very nice, but... Just a minute. Uh, we will return, but was there was no way to, for me to prevent that, was there? There, there couldn't have been. There was absolutely no way. There was absolutely no way. There was absolutely no way. So to take our minds off it, watch this strike. Was legit, legit. And here he is, he's back. Oh yeah, he's fuck back. hell. Fuck yeah. There you go. Now, what do we lose here? 
Release Smolensk from its puppet status. Release the Zaporizhian host from its puppet status. Release the Sloboda Ukraine host from its puppet status. I lose my cores. Relations go to shit. I lo oh, that's disastrous. Knocking down those Russian pins. Yeah. Oh my god, look at the diplomat mode before and after. Oh, no! Oh, I lost everything. I lost it all. These hosts are gone, and that is what triggers these countries kind of uniting or starting wars with each other that I've seen the AI do, I think. So that's going to start to happen now. No, I don't have cores on them. The cores were specifically removed as well on these ones. They're just now grey. The only thing I have over here is a tenuous alliance with Moscow. The dual monarchy opens the Congress of Venice. Now I know what the Congress of Venice is actually about. Because I've seen these events pop up. But it's about Hungary being in the HRE. Might as well leave the game. Poland is a dead nation. Yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. It's been fun. It's been great. It's been real. But. Watch this strike. Oh my god, they're analysing the angles. They have analysis sections. Time to meet our first competitor. He's 18 years old from Springfield, Missouri. A member of Team USA. Here's Spencer Robarge. Spencer Robarge. Legend. Legend. Oh. No, no adverts. It's over millions must get partition. Use the Nursery No Rage Quick Clause. He still has that, by the way. He hasn't played for a while, I know, but he still has it. The Scandinavian delegation made a rather forgettable series of remarks which all revolved around upholding the Treaty of Paris and preventing a new Great German War. While it held emotional appeals that ultimately amounted to little practical substance. Boo! Fucking boring! 18... That guy is a bowling legend at 18. What have you all achieved? What have you all achieved in the chat? That guy is following his fucking dreams. Being an absolute legend in the pro professional bowling scene. What have you all done? It's over. It's over, basically. Yeah, all right, Noki, we get it. We get it. I know about... We all know your situation. Well, some of us on the Open Vic server know your situation. But that extra bit of info was way too fucking much. It's, uh... Yeah, no need to share that. You're oversharing. I made tea, that's what I've done. I did that too. But I'm making tea plus entertaining 172 people at the same time. So I've beaten you there. I have a, do <laughs> I have a dog that is cool. Listen, that's great. That is fucking great. Your dog's a legend. We love your dog. I achieved enlightenment. It's over before it began. No, no, no. Dong, the middle Chinese currency. Ah! Ah, but you see, there is also another dong. There are many more dongs here today. Let me look at this. The Vietnamese dong. One pound equals 29,982 Vietnamese dongs. There you go. Sadly, I have no Vietnamese dong. Well, listen, head out, head out for a little holiday to Saigon and maybe you can get some dong. If you're ever lacking a bit of dong in your life. I drink until I'm almost dead, that's what I do. Oh, you're a bit of an alcoholic, are you, Ladoge? What do you like to drink? Beer? Hard liquors? Wine? You're fucking French, aren't you? You must drink wine. My moderator had to permit the term dong in the chat. Even though it was said before. Channel prediction on if Vietnamese dong goes up or down. Listen, mate, let's not do a channel prediction of that. If you want to do predictions about whether the Vietnamese dong will go up or down, just go and do your trading. Go fucking trade on it. Let's not just trade canned food. Put some real money on the line. Go and do that in your, in your own time. I am not offering real financial advice on this stream. I wonder if the dong would be a good investment. I mean, I think Vietnam is a country that must be on the up, right? I mean, it's getting endless investment from China. It's in a safe situation. It's recovered from the devastating war. It's got good relations with everyone, even America, I think. I think Vietnam and America have reconciled relations, haven't they? It's, even though Vietnam's probably now in the, the Chinese 
sphere naturally just on the count of being right there. Half my clothes are fucking made in Vietnam. The most successful communist nation diplomatically. Yeah. Okay, maybe they don't like China that much, but they're right there, they're on the border, they're probably economically cooperating a lot. I watched Bald and Bankrupt's video in Vietnam like a year ago, whenever that was. So that's what, oh, that's what I know. But I also happen to know that they have a lot of dongs. One pound can get you 29,000 dongs. Yeah, so <laughs> when, when Vietnam beat the USA, Vietnam was generous and they're like, you know, we've we've absolutely crushed you, America, but we'll be nice and we'll maintain good relations with you going forward in, in many years' time. Much in the same way that um, America occupied Japan, kept the emperor in place, Vietnam was like, we'll let you keep your president, we'll let you keep the trappings, and we'll start building up good relations after Vietnam kicked America's arse. That's what happened. Economics always overrules ideology. I think that's true. To many extents, in many places, harsh economic realities and necessities. You might have a, some ideological difference, but, you know, just buy and sell goods so we can all get wealthier gets in the way. But, um, anyway, that's a, another tangent about Vietnam this time. Hello, Taco Man. People always show up for the Poland content. Yeah. I know for a fact that session two of this will lose like half the viewer count though, that's what, that's what always happens. Because I, I do one stream, it's a new campaign, everyone comes in, it's like, whoa, a new campaign, but then next time, it falls off. It always happens, always happens, I'm, I'm ready for it. Vietnam just wanted to be independent from France. Oh god, France, yeah, uh, France's history in Vietnam. Well, there you go. Anyway, uh, what are we doing in terms of the game? We just lost our puppets and it's over. The Polish-Lithuanian speech. Now, I get to choose between siding one way or the other, which is really interesting. I'm wondering, you know... The situation is that Hungary is potentially joining the Holy Roman Empire under Bohemia. Burgundy and Scandinavia don't want Hungary in the HRE, and they think it's illegal for it to expand. And I get to make a speech making a decision either way. So I'm going to leave it up to the people. I'm going to make a poll. I'm going to make a poll for this. You can all vote on how I choose what I choose here. All right, okay. Five minutes. Is this multiplayer? No, sorry. It's not. It's not multiplayer. So, do you want Hungary to join the HRE in this situation? Yes or no? What are the pros and cons? I don't know. Because I don't know. Bohemia, I think, you get Transcarpathia. Well, well, now you're, well, now you're, you're sweetening the deal there. I remember siding with Scandi when I tried this and I regretted it. Hmm. So we're leaning towards supporting Bohemia then. Support for the Empire. Supporting the Empire... Apparently supporting the Empire is the normal course of events. Scandi is the biggest threat. Okay, what are the people actually voting for here? Um, so, I, wait, it's yes or... The, the event is different from how I've written this. Hi, Spudiga. First team on your stream. Looks like it's pretty cosy here. Yes, it is. Debt break. Thank you very much for the pound. It's, it's always a cosy stream. All right. You're voting the wrong way. I want to do yes, because I want to do yes and support the Empire. Okay, can everyone start voting yes, please? I mean, we've got like 170 viewers and there's only been like that. So we, we can swing the vote just by me ordering you. Does that count as democracy? Like you, you put a vote, but then you tell people how to vote. But look, Supporting the Empire here is genuinely the best geopolitical move. It actually is. Scandi is the real enemy. We can maybe get Transcarpathia out of this from Hungary if we do it.
redo the vote until you get the right results. Use the Spanish invention of Pucherazo. Next vote decides it. Do not believe Bohemian lies. I want this land. I want Ungvar. Those are my accepted pops in there, mate. Come on. I want it. I want it. I need that. And I also want Suchava and Chernautzi here as well. You know, that's got a lot of my accepted pops. That is the majority of my accepted pops. This one, Chernauti. Vote yes. Vote yes. Hungary should join the Holy Roman Empire. Is the PLC in the Holy Roman Empire here, by the way? Am I in the PLC? I think I must be. I'm, like, I've got a Habsburg. But I'm allied to Bohemia. Isn't that how it works here? Wait, which one does Stanislav support? What's his position? 50k spud vote. Yes, votes found at 4am. The vote is 50-50. Well, I, I can be the tiebreaker. I'll be the tiebreaker. I'll use my executive powers. I just cast my own vote for yes. That's my own vote cast. Komodo said Chadiswav supports Bohemia. In my Bohemia game, I was lucky and got Hungary and the PLC got the province of Ungar, Ungvar by default from them invading it when the Hungarians couldn't do anything about it. Well, either way, I want that province and this is the way of getting it. Let's do it. If no wins the vote, I'm going to overrule it and do yes anyway, so just accept it. Deal with it. We don't have a same. We don't have a parliament anyway. How are you even voting? We don't even have a stable government. So, this is all a sham. Why do we want yes? Because we want Hungary to join the Holy Roman Empire. Because that's my normal position. I'm allied to Bohemia here by the lore. So I do this one. They surprise no. I don't want to surprise anyone. No surprises over here. No alarms, no surprises. Everything must just be the same. Nothing ever happens. Voting is nearly over. Vote yes. Everyone, if you haven't voted, go there, hit yes, and then hit vote. I'm overriding it. I My vote counts as 10. Quickly vote yes. Quickly vote yes. All right, I'm overruling you. Hungary, Hungary will join the HRE. I'm surprising no one. Boom. Told you. I'm fine with that. Look, chat is overwhelmingly supportive of my actions. I'm fine with that. Chad Todd voted yes. The silent majority... Wait, no. The loud majority and the silent majority, both at the same time, have voted for me. The loud ones and the quiet ones are all on my side. So choosing the candidates. So, uh, okay, Stanislav. This is where Stanislav comes in. Let's get him in, boys. Despite the news of the loss of the allegiance of the Cossack hosts and of the Principality of Smolensk, the same continued to be deadlocked. Eventually, the same would have to choose the candidates for the election. After weeks of debates, four candidates demarked themselves. <laughs> Russian elections, we like. Lord Spudgun knows best. Exactly, Sir Alligator. People, um, people who donated and subbed had extra votes, and the, 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 the subs and donors on the channel overwhelmingly supported Hungarian accession into the HRE, and their votes weighed in, that, in their favour. So first of all, we've got Franz von Schwarzenberg, a cadet of one of the greatest Bohemian nobility, Johannes von Wettin, cousin of the Duke of Prussia, supported by Scandinavians, Sigismund von Wittelsbach, a neutral a neutral German prince that is amenable to much of the fact how come it's only Germans? Fucking it. just German, 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 German. Can we vote for a poll? Stanislav will be an honorary poll. Finally the same must decide if Stanislav Habsburg is put on the list. Stanislav is on the list. Boom. Relations with Burgundy and Scandi down, but who gives a fuck about them? 
that vote their, their opinion doesn't matter. Just like chat. Chat is Scandinavia and Burgundy here. Essentially. They're paying you. Stanislav has much of a chance of winning as Trump did. They're gonna try and they're gonna try and put Stanislav in jail. Wait. It does it all four events do the same as chosen Stanislav as king or oh, the royal election saw one of the greatest gatherings of noblemen in the history of the Commonwealth. Fifty thousand unnamed same members arriving at five AM to vote for Stanislav. I'm going to click on his name anyway, just to make sure, even though it all does the same thing. Stanislav! Let's go! Can I get some Giga Chads in the chat? Yeah, Bionic it did. Stan the man. Stanislav the Maniswav. When do I get fucking Transcarpathia? I want it now. Give me it. Give me it, Hungary. The Congress of Venice will give me this land. Officially going down the based road. There must be an alternate path as Poland where you side with Scandinavia and Burgundy against Bohemia and Hungary. There is a low chance for Hungary going to Bohemia. Interesting. Let's see what happens. The Second Congress of Venice, here we go. Karl von Schwarzenberg, Foreign Minister of the Holy Roman Empire, was the first delegate to speak at the Second Congress of Venice. He made a long-winded address in which he discussed the House of, House of Mecklenburg, an old but minor noble dynasty of northeastern Germany and its claim on western Pomerania. His arguments for the return of the Duchy of Mecklenburg Strelitz's lands to imperial control soon spiralled into a complicated attempt to advocate for the Empire to take control of all of Scandinavia's Pomerania. Some delegates were totally confused by his rhetoric, but most dismissed it as a Jagiellon, saber rattling, and melodramatic effort to use the minor prince's grievances as a weapon against a Nordic rival. Okay. What's all this then here then? The Congress reconvenes and it has lost its novelty. Most Venetians did not bother to come and greet the delegations at Piazza San Marco. And in truth, the fireworks and banquets offered by the public were less generous. So people are fucking sick of this crap, basically, is what they're saying. Sorry, I need to inject some action to keep people on the edge of their seats so I don't lose viewers. Um, the criminal emperor. <laughs> okay, this guy. This The Scandinavian speech is Trump. Trump speech. The criminal emperor in Prague would have this honoured assembly believe that the Treaty of Paris. He's a criminal. The Holy Roman Empire. He's gone to jail. The Holy Roman. Have you ever? Have you seen the emails? Have you seen the Holy Roman Empire's emails? He left the emails. Put him in jail. Would have his own assembly believe that the Treaty of Paris and all of its provisions were nothing but a scrap of paper. To be thrown out with the evening refuse. Shall we see the borders of Europe completely overturned? He did everything right and they samed him. Craziest debate of divergences and darkness. The Scandinavian delegation issued an impassioned denunciation of the Holy Roman Empire's violation of both the letter and spirit of the Treaty of Paris. They urged the delegates to defend Hungarian independence and reject the imperial claim. Give me the delegates! The delegates! The Polish-Lithuanian speech. Okay. Well, I'm not giving you another vote on this one, so it'll take too long. Sleepy Jagiellon. The Vivaldi in the background. Is that a Venice series reference, since this whole treaty is actually in Venice? Unlike the previous Congress, support for the Jagiellon position regarding Pomerania. So this is for Pomerania. This is a different issue. I don't know where I stand on that. I don't know if there's any way I can get some Pomerania out of this. There are some of my pops there. Is there any way I can get Costlin and Stulp? I doubt it. I really doubt it. Maybe I can go up to the Baltics somehow with this. But many of the delegates were eager to weaken Scandinavia and reduce their presence in the Baltic. Many others were cognizant of just how much more powerful the Empire would become by regaining Pomerania. 
There's also a third, more neutral group who saw the question as irrelevant to the Commonwealth itself, unlike the Hungarian question. Oh, this is, that's interesting. These divisions mostly reflected the positions of the pro-imperial, pro-Scandinavian and pro-Hungarian candidates of the last same. Thus it seemed logical that whichever candidate had prevailed would use his influence as king, however limited, to tilt the balance in favour. I don't know what, don't know what Stanislav supports here, but let's weaken Scandinavia so that we can eventually gain influence in the Baltics. So, sided with Jagiellon and the Empire, against Scandinavia, pro-Bohemia. We can get an alliance with Bohemia. That'll be a good alliance. We, okay, there are actually a lot of accepted pops in, in this region, though, of mine. That's actually a little bit awkward. Might actually want that land. Uh, the Duchy of Teschen, I want that too. Give me it. To be fair, though, Bohemia often falls apart in these mods that I've seen. I mean, in these playthroughs of this mod. I've seen Bohemia fall apart. Could happen again. That's what I'm hoping for. But no spoilers on that, please. Let's pray that Hungary goes to Bohemia. Get out of here. When's medicine going to be done? 1843! 1840 fucking 3! Oh my god. This one here, this region needs some admin efficiency first for better promotion. That might be better. I'm actually really gripped by the political decisions and event chains of this mod so far. But yeah, the debates about Hungary. But the, these congresses of Venice are interesting. I like it. Twelve literacy. An absolute joke. And I don't have any militancy. Reforms are impossible here. A reform will never happen. I can't get an education reform. Yeah, terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Rough situation. You all have a cavalry? Yeah, yeah, you all have cavalry. This is a semi-spoiler, but it's actually important to release the NF text pretty fast as future decisions are going to be time-limited a bit. Okay, well this medicine is going to hold us back for fucking four years, so... But after that, we'll try getting... We'll, we'll just go for ideological thought next. Year of Abundance, that's nice, thanks. Okay, we need to do national focus text, which is... I think it's fair to warn me of that. First, it's not really a spoiler. I can get behind that. The final act of the Congress of Venice, what have they done? Um, the organisation has grand diplomatic stretched the limits of the Venetian Republic funds, but has brought even more prestige to the Serenissima. Along the diplomats, for journalists... Um, what does it do? It doesn't say what it did. Status quo. Okay, fine. Fine. Rocking all over the world? Yeah, I get it, I get it. Getting revolution and counter-revolution in 1915 at this rate. Ideological thought is a very necessary tech anyway, for all that. The research points, the plurality and another national focus. So. Really need to get that. Oh, uh, Bohemia annexed some OPMs. Yeah, well said. Well pointed out. Uh, also, this Ottomans has done brilliantly this time. The Ottomans have taken Egypt, but they lost Kurdistan. The Ottomans can never get everything back, unless a player is on it. The Ottomans will win some of the things and lose some of the things, but taking Egypt this time is quite big. And taking the Levant and having cores on Greece. They won in the Balkans, they won in the Levant, they won in Egypt, but they lost Kurdistan. And Kurdistan has a lot of Turkish accepted pops in it. Grand Exhibition? Fuck it. Let's become a great power. If we can. Oh, oh my god, what are these? What the fuck are these capitalists doing? Luxury clothes three times? Mate! 
Me? No. They lost to Albania. Oh, that's true. They have one core and a bit of Albania. Okay, Albania is strong this time. When do you integrate those subjects? It's a long time. A long way away. Complicated event chains, many things. You know, complicated. What are the capitalists supposed to wear once and throw away otherwise? True, fair point. They have to make their own clothes. Selfish. And you'll be getting like zero silk. Yeah. Warsaw is the fashion capital. Nowhere in Eastern Europe is the fashion capital of anything. You're being invested into and all the investor is doing is building luxury clothing. Okay, yeah. Can I see who's investing in me by going to great, show great powers? Bohemia! Ah, I knew that the fucking Bohemians are behind this. You know what? I'm cancelling that crap. Invest something better into me. I don't get machine parts anyway, so... Actually, wait. Oh, there's a war. They're going after Brandenburg by Reut. But anyway... Actually, it might be beneficial if I get sphered by Bohemia. Oh, I am! I fucking am sphered by Bohemia. Uh, I wouldn't have noticed. Because uh, I'm not getting any machine parts from these arseholes. Not a single fucking machine part to be found anywhere. Well, actually, I am. Okay, okay, Bohemia, I get it, you're right. You're right, I am actually getting them, but the factories aren't constructing yet. Just invest more in me, Bohemia. Invest in me. But build good factories. Maybe I should tag switch to Bohemia and build Poland a good industry. How about I do that? Uh, that would be exploit-ish. Ex exploit adjacent, but also understandable. The Great Fire of Nuremberg. Oof. Ouch. Oh. Ugh. Ah. That's bad. Sorry, Bohemia. That's the start of Bohemia's collapse. So, enjoy them while we can. Bohemia has fallen. Anyway, while we're doing this, um, support the channel, donate with the amazing donation link, give us your prime, and it's September if you want to do, uh, start a new sub. Or give you a sub for a new month. It's September. It's cheaper. LARPing by asking factories to build... Asking Germans to build factories in Poland. Well, if it was realistic, then it would be my craftsmen moving to Bohemia to occupy their factories. But no. Uh, sustaining an industry here wouldn't, wouldn't happen. Yes, Ladoj, I want that fucking land. I'm... These two regions, Silesia, would be very nice. Yes, please. Thank you very much, Debt Break, for the new tier one sub. Thank you. For those wondering, first have it, what leading eleven four. Who? What is it? Rugby? I'm not talking about rugby. Who's winning in the current bowling world championship? That's what I want to know. CS Go? Oh my god. What? E Rugby. CS fucking Go. Tell you what though, a Spanish guy won Wimbledon. Uh, we'll do a deep dive on tennis at some point. That'll be another subject. We'll do tennis. Just so you know, since they started to do that, Bohemia will try building luxury clothing anytime they can check. Production window open. Do you know about armoured combat sports? No. I only saw a bit of football recently when Max Fosch was... What? Is that going to be... A, is that like I got you? Um, building factories, no tax switching to Bohemia to build an industry, yes. Hmm. Oh my god, they're doing it again. I'll let them have that one, okay? I'll let them have that one. I'll let them have one in Rus Shervona just to put the workers in it so they're not unemployed. It's night MMA. All right, cool. Renaissance fairs. Well, uh, still waiting for the next Stanislav event. 
We voted for Sanislav. Do we not get a big epic coronation decision? Sorry, non-subs cannot just post a link in my chat. But to be fair, neither can subs and I need to fix that. But one day it will all be sorted. There will be seven luxury clothes factories in Poland by 1915. They're trying again, mate. Fuck's sake. The state budget will go into buying silk. At least I'll be able to buy uh, build hussars easily. Although I already have built all the hussars I need for now. But... Any new decisions showing up? Nope. Nope. Oh. Is this getting to Poland? Nah, not really. I knew the Polish were drippy. Bohemia is building an Adidas factory in uh, Lvov. Oh my god, they're building one in Velka Polska now. Oh, fuck's sake. And they're trying again in Mazovshe. Fuck off. Oh. I hate Bohemia. I want Bohemia to collapse and for me to take Silesia. Fuck that. Look at their brigade count. 48, 75, mate. But military tech, why is it probably? 7 mil tech. Oof. Just have a war against Scandinavia, Bohemia. Go on, you've got this. Have a war. An election. Well, say goodbye to the Partia Katolicka. That one's going away because it doesn't actually exist. I'm about to get a laissez-faire party, actually. That's not going to be good. Uh, uh, yeah, we're about to have laissez-faire. The Bohemians are about to have a complete free reign to build whatever the fuck they want. I'll let them build in some of these states just because they don't have anything else. And it'll be good for the people not to be unemployed. Oh, the, here, here comes the first one. It's opening in Lvov. The Adidas factory has opened. Welcome everyone, welcome everyone. And um, it looks like they do have the silk and regular clothes that they need. I'm not going to subsidise it. Can they stand on their own in the market? Can the free market handle this? German Council in Munich. Aye. It makes people promote. And <sighs> uh, what do they... Oh, looks like you're running... you can't buy the silk now that you're not subsidised, eh? Oh, look at that. Are we producing anything in that factory? Oh, they are. They are producing 0 0.043 luxury clothes. Oh, yeah. And it's decreasing. And they're producing nothing. It's going down. Yeah. Let's see how well that factory can stand on the free market. Come on, give me some Stanislav events already. Come on. Give me something. Or, or give me Transcarpathia. Oh, Hungary went completely into the Scandinavian sphere. It looks like that means they got rejected from the HRE, doesn't it? They got rejected and they got speared by Scandi. That's not good for the HRE. Which might be good for me. Because I can get Silesia. What party do I want out of these parties? They're all shit. Let, let the debate take its course. One plurality out of doing that is actually good. That's what I want. Give me the plurality. Give me the research points. Tech is coming back to 1842. We're making progress. This tech used to be projected to be finished in 1843. Now it's come back to September 1842. It's we're ramping up the research points. The literacy is increasing. It's over 13% now. I swear to God we're getting there. We're, we're improving. We're building up the country. Comet sighted events save the tech. Factory just got built. But up they got upgraded. Well you can't quite get that silk, can you? Ah, oh, very unprofitable factory, eh? You're building nothing. Okay, I'm gonna subsidize it. 
for fuck's sake. Okay, I'm going to buy the silk for you. If we can get, if we have access to any silk, then I'll buy it for them. But if we don't have access, then they just simply won't get anything. And, and your, your daily reminder that this, if this was Victoria 3, this factory would still be producing stuff. Even if it didn't have any silk. Because the supply chain in Vic 3 isn't quite, you know, it's not strong. You can build shit without having the constituent resources available to you. I'm just saying, you know, let's not have that whole massive rant or debate. It's just an interesting comparison. It's just, uh, just having a look. So, just waiting for some Stanislav. Wait, did the which party? It's the uh, it's the other Conservative party. That's we're officially laissez-faire. It's over. I can't prevent the construction of new luxury clothes factories all over the country. Thank you, Hot Sauce Steve, for the two years of Prime. Thank you. So that's it. We're gonna get luxury clothes and you will you will wear luxury clothes and you will be happy. You will eat the luxury clothes, says Bohemia to me. You will have the luxury clothes factories. The Emperor the Holy Roman Empire. Thank in Polish. The Ajekria. Poland is the HRE's Bangladesh. I don't think any of the clothes getting made in Battle is an event. I don't think any of the clothes getting made there are luxury. I think it's uh, the cheapest they can possibly be. Following his election, Stanisław I tried several times to assemble a confederated Sejm. A type of assembly where the Liberum veto could not be used as to pass several laws and appease the liberals of the various towns. Despite all his efforts, the opposition of the nobility led to no consensus and he was forced to call a regular same that was blocked by several noblemen who used their golden liberties to stop all attempts at reform. Well, fuck it. We need to get rid of these, no these nobles. That's the goal. That's what we need to do here. Um... Fucking, uh, is that Komodo? Someone's using some... Debt Brig is using some Polish swear words. And it actually flagged it in the bot. The bot knows every language. The Warsaw Riots! Oh my god. Following the results of the same, the Liberals and people of Warsaw. Warsaw is a Democrat city. It's a blue city. And the Liberals are burning it down. The, uh... I don't know. The, the riots, you know. They assaulted several... Yeah, we, okay, come on, very interesting. Maybe you should listen to him. Nah, I'm joking. Uh, order was only restored after the intervention of the, the Hussars. Nah. The royal guards with the king himself protecting his opponent, Josef Pototsky, who found shelter in the royal palace after nearly being killed by the crowd. This event has reinforced the will of the reformers who are now persuaded that only them stand between chaos and the preservation of order while magnates are scared and hire more members of their guards. Can Poland reform? Can we do it? By the way, this Smolensk flag looks like Spain's flag. I keep thinking it's Spain. What are Spanish troops doing in Smolensk? Liberals 1848, Liberals 2023 mouth breather. And Poland build back better. We're going to be getting help from the the Holy Roman Economic Forum is going to help us build back better with fucking luxury clothes factories. And then we're going to go liberal. That's it. That's the playthrough. So... Do you want to have a little anecdote that brings a uh, that makes my day? Uh, some person on Discord just sent me a nice little message saying they like my videos, which is really nice. And I look back, and there's um, they, they just sent me that message. And before that, we had two messages. He sent me one message, and I sent him. I'm not showing it, but 
Um, this person basically three years ago in 2020, he asked me if thing do things get better in the American Bloodbath series? And then he sent a sad looking cat. And I said, I can't spoil. And that's it. That's the extent of that in 2020. And then he comes back today just to say he likes me. What a fucking nice guy. But then three years ago, we had a little exchange about the American Bloodbath. Well, do things get better in the American Bloodbath series? Go and watch it. I'm sure that guy found out. But he sent his message in the 23rd of September. So if you figure out at what point in the series we were at then by looking at the times of the videos. So. Guess who just bought £10 of green apple sour candy? How about you buy £10 of Stream Elements donations to the channel Spudgun Official live? Oh, the stables of uh, Mazovshia have closed. The horse factory. Lassie Fair's first casualty in my industry is the horse factory of Mazovshia, which is Warsaw. That is Warsaw's region. The horse factory is closed. The horse workers are out of business. Fucking, the, the HRE ba like fucking sabotaged the horse factory to make the people go into their upcoming new Adidas factory. You will work in the Adidas factory. You will not own the horses. And then they fucking sabotaged it. They're making them. They're making them work in Adidas. They're building one new uh, component of Hussars, which is the luxury clothes. But they've closed the fucking horses, which is another important component of cavalry. Funnily enough, we get, wait. It's uh, one good thing though. Bohemia has been building railroads in me. That's really nice. I'll, I'll give them that. I can complain about the luxury clothes, but railroads is excellent, thank you. That's good. You can see the railway lines being built up here. Yeah. A nice little network in central Poland. Good, good stuff. Yeah. They ate the horses. Can Stanislav bring liberal reforms to this country? Oh, there's war in Russia. They're consolidating. I'm a bit concerned. By the way, my name still hovers over all of the, uh, the Cossacks who went away from me. They're not my puppets, but my name still goes over them. Which just, it just signifies how I will get them back. A rail line linking each Adidas workshop directly to Prague to go into fucking Uniqlo or whatever. No, whatever shops. I don't. That shop doesn't sell fucking Adidas, but sports shops, sporty shops. Fucking JD Sports, Sports Direct. What are the sporty clothing shops on the European continent called? Can we get an island check, please? Oh, the, oh yes, yes. 27k, it's gone up nearly four times. An heir is born. I don't know if that's a, a generic event, but technically it means Stanislav has had a kid. The, uh, the Bohemians are building a railway link. Wait, there is actually a railway link now, is there? Can you see a physical one all the way from Prague? No. Prague has a railway, but it's not connected to the line in Konigretz, Olimets. No, there isn't a direct connection on these railway lines. What, we're playing Victoria 3 here, looking at the fucking trains? Kielce. And Krakow is linked, but it's not physically showing a link there. Maybe when the uh, the Ch Chestachova one is built, it'll link up to the Breslau, so at least we'll get some shops in Breslau. Four F in Poland. Okay, liberal agitation. Maybe some militancy. Maybe some reforms. Well, medicine is almost done, and then we'll go ideological thought. Chostochova. It's a nasally. In Czech, one of the popular sports shops is Sportissimo. Nice. Oh, they built a new one to Poznan. 
the new Poznan line has been opened, directly connecting to Warsaw. Going right through here. I love when big countries got a sing single colony that grows so fast. Yeah, look at my boy growing up. They grow so fast. If we build a railway in Glogau, which I think from the icon means they actually are building it, then that'll be it connected, fully connected. If we get a railway in Glogau, connected to Gorlitz, Ausig, Prague, then everything will be connected. What are the political parties? They're fucking terrible. The, uh, the, the reactionary one is agrarian, which means you can't have any factories. The conservative one is laissez-faire anti-military, and the liberal one is pacifism interventionism. So even if I wanted to build factories, none of my, none of the parties allow me to build any factories. We're canoeing. That's all the same event. Generic event. We're canoeing the lines of railways. Oh, Scandi's at war with Peskov. Oh, interesting. Has anything happened over here? I don't. I don't know if the borders have actually changed in Russia. There was some war, but I don't know if the borders changed. Nobility fucking anti-militarists. Who made this mod? But a lot of people. Komodo. Komodo made this mod. Blame them. Right. Ideological thought. Very important. Medicine is good. Medicine is really good. The supply limit has gone up, so maybe I can actually get 27 or 30k stacks. But sending these stacks out of my country will get attrition in the event of a war, so... Nah. That was for Smolensk to take the rest of Smolensk state. Did they take it from Muscovy? They've still... They didn't do it. They must have lost. They lost. Apparently Paskov is beating Scandinavia right now. But only for now. Ideological thought will be done in 1846! Oh my god! Oh my god, I've got a video. Wait, hold on. I'm going to look up a video. Fucking hell. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've got a video to describe our feelings. A round of applause, please. Excuse the advert. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. All right, everyone. This is how we feel. Very accurate situation. Okay. Is it showing up? No, it's not showing up yet. There we go. Hello. Are you depressed? Because I'm not. Which is why today I'm going to teach you how to say life is meaningless and we are all gonna die. This is English. how we feel right now in Let's the game. Let's get right into it. Życie jest bez sensu i wszyscy zginiemy. Życie jest bez sensu i wszyscy zginiemy. Życie jest bez sensu i wszyscy zginiemy. Zginiemy. Zicie jest bez sensu i wszyscy zginiemy. Zicie jest bez. Skąd? Say again. Bez sensu i tu i wszyscy zginiemy. Zicie jest bez sensu. Zicie jest bez sensu. I wszyscy zginiemy. I wszyscy zginiemy. I wszyscy zginiemy. Zginiemy. That's the state of the Polish education system, the research, the tech. The University of Vilnius bans Lithuanian literature. <laughs> Lithuania bros. 
It's miserable for Lithuania as well. How do you say the same thing in Lithuanian? Does the video exist? I'm searching for it in Lithuanian. No, it doesn't exist. No, the video doesn't exist for Lithuanian. Nah. Well, they wouldn't. The reason the video doesn't exist is because they banned the language in this timeline. So they never ended up making the video because no one can fucking speak the language. So they're not even allowed to express how they feel about this fact in Lithuanian. Unrest has recently surged throughout Vilnius. Middle class Baltic Lithuanians have begun to espouse their will for true Lithuanian representation in the Grand Duchy and the University of Vilnius. Traditional Ruthenian Litvins. So the Baltic Lithuanian material is banned it. Saw a Pole walking with a... I saw a Litvin walking with a Lithuanian um, farmer from his hut in the forest. Uh, a Litvin girl walked out of the city and went to find some Lithuanians in the forest to get off with. Lithuania has fallen. Givenimas ira beprasmis irmes visi mersime. Did you get that from... Google Translate, or are you Lithuanian? Do we have any Lithuanians in the chat? Lietuviške! Am I right? By the way, full disclosure, I am. I love the Lithuanian... I'm completely fascinated by the Lithuanian language. I know some words. I have an understanding of how it works as a language of grammar. Very interesting. The language has so many similarities to Latin in terms of grammar and the way it works that some... Lithuanians in like the fucking 19th century came up with theories that they are an ancient lost Latin tribe. But it's not true. They couldn't tell you they're all banned. Well, I'm going to go out into the forest, into the mud huts, to see if anyone speaks Lithuanian out there. Look, at least after 1945, Vilnius will magically become 100% Lithuanian. Out of nowhere. Right, let's continue. Surely not worth our attention. This is just a change of ideologies and consciousness and militancy. But it could be something... Could some Something could be brewing there in the future. Can we get the Poles, the Lith Lithuanians, the Litvins, and the Malorussians to live in peace as, as in, a, in this country, accepted by me? Can we do it? That's the goal of the campaign. That's what I want. My only connection to Lithuania is that my mum studied in Vilnius University in the 90s. Oh. The Lithuanian question! Oh my god. Unrest in the Grand Duchy of Lithuania grows as Baltic Lithuanian movement reaches new heights. Liberal internet intellectuals in Samagotia travel through its cities, establishing unions and clubs to promote what they dub as the Lithuanian Revival. The Ruthenian Litvins of Lithuania have grown slowly in numbers and influence throughout the history of Poland and Lithuania and now they hold a, a firm grasp on the Grand Duchy. And hence, Litvin is the primary culture of Lithuania and Lithuanians just won't accept it. Okay. Any new factories being built? Hey, one of the luxury Adidas factories is closed in Malopolska. But they're building one in Volin, Pomern, everywhere. They're building them everywhere. I will try and keep the kingdom united. Hopefully I can find a way to reconcile the Litvins and the Lithuanians and I can find a way to have them all in my realm, equal and supported as accepted cultures. Somehow. I hope we can do it. Stanislav wants to do that, right? Now they keep building fucking hats. Will you do a nomadic playthrough? Like what? You want me to play Tatarstan? I'm down. I can play the Zungar sometime. Yeah, no, I can do it. So, yeah, ideological thought that in 1846. Let's hope we get the fucking Comet sighted or something. I mean, given how long this is going to take, there's a high chance of getting Comet sighted just from pure fucking length of time. The luxury clothes factories are closing anyway. On laissez fair. No guy stream. Do you remember my no guy streams from the single player in the other Divergences version, the multiplayer versions, but single player? 
Remember that? Jesus. Do they have a railroad built in Glogau yet? To connect all the lines? Nearly. Come on. Build them. Give me a Stannis Wav event. No guy stream, best stream to date. Really? The AI stomp. The no guy stream was just me restarting over and over. It was a Sisyphus stream. That's what it was. Come on, people are waiting for the Stannis Wav events. I've lost 20 viewers. In the last, like, fucking half an hour. Come on. Stannis Wav, show yourself. Um, speed 4? Yeah, speed 4 at this point. I mean, we're just doing nothing. I'm well acquainted with the Sisyphusian struggle myself. Aren't you happy? New railroad, new Adidas links. I think we might be needed to get up to fucking 4% clergy this time. Oh my god, yeah. Look at the literacy of some of these people. We need 4%. I think we need to go all the way with the clergyman. Holy shit. Even the Ashkenazi. The, it's the serfs, actually. It's more like the serfs. And then the Polish people. The Polish middle class and upper class are about 30%. You're actually having a surplus of iron. That's rare enough. The reason for that is because it's not going into any factories. I'm not using iron. And by the way, we just got massive pop growth boost. 0.03. Watch the pops go up. Island check. Can I get the mod check emote in chat? Island check. 30k. They hit 30k. Damn. Beautiful. Bohemians really have a province in Silesia. Glob -ga glob -ga glob. That's checks and Silesians for you. Glogau. You know how they came up with that? They gargled some water, and someone misheard it and thought they were saying the name of a province. More Islanders than Spud subscribers? Not yet. It would be about 33k. So when it gets over 3,300, 30,300, I'm not that small. Oh, it's Gwogulf. I think, I, I, what do we prefer? Glogau or Gwogulf? What's the better pronunciation? Glogau, Gwogulf. Rogel, I think you're setting me up to get me a, a gotten, aren't you? Is that what you're asking that question there? I know the word for Bressler though, it's Vratswav. Opel, I don't know. Boyton, I don't know. Teshin, don't know. Ropau, don't know. Schweidnitz, okay, right, let's go through them. So, Opel is Opolwe, is it a W or an L? If you're giving me Polish in the chat, you better use the correct diacritics, okay? Opole. Breslau is Vlatswav. Lignitz is quite similar, I think it's Lignitz or something. Do you know how to do a Glaswegian accent? I don't think I could produce an accurate one for you now. Betom Tsieshin. Punish the simply fighting has to stop. There you go. And Schweidnitz, what's that? And there's a significant Polish minority in this. Schweidnitz. T is a ch. I thought it was pronounced t. All three of you just said that in a different way. Of three different poles. Is that three different fucking Polish dialects? Svidnicza, Svidnicze, and Shvednica. You all, all three of you said it differently. I'm about to start a Polish civil war. Which one have you got it right? Which one are you? I am from Lesser Poland, so I'm right. Skills she 
issue issue over. The town is at the edge of Poland, so not everyone knows its name from the top of their head. Sounds like we should listen to someone from Greater Poland. Does that make you wrong by definition because your opinion is lesser? That's, that's a new situation in one of these places here. Which probably means uh, war. Voronezh is new. They, were, they used to be called... I forgot. They used to be something else. I don't know. They used to be a host. A Don host or something. A Don host. Italian turmoil. It's happening. So pole means fields. I've got it, I've got it. No, pole means wild. Or, no, I don't know. Right, we're upgrading some stacks. We're finally getting some new soldier pops after a long time. The island is about to overtake my subcount. Oh, it's basically there. What is my subcount? I'm about to go and tell you my exact subcount. Not the estimation that you all get. I'm going to tell you how it actually is from my own like interface. I'm going to give you the real number. It's um, and it rises every day. Uh, it's thirty-four thousand three hundred twenty-nine. And I also noticed that uh, Bohemia Part Se but Bavaria Part Seven has gone over thirty thousand views in the day. Good 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 metrics all around, good numbers, good numbers. So it's 34,000. We've got another little bit of breathing room here on Sweaty Andrew. I can release an independent Poland here, should I? Should we do it? Let's do it. Where's the fucking Stanislav events? Give me, give me lore. Are we going to get... Alright, let's do a channel point prediction. It's going to be like this, right? Varia Part 8 when? Friday. See, I can answer it. You only get this kind of insider info live on stream. You only get it here. This is why people turn up for the streams. They get the insider knowledge. Because the next Poland video... The Poland? No! The next Bavaria video is going to be on uh, Friday. The reason I've done that is so I can start to now set up a new weekly Friday schedule. Upload schedule. We're going to try and get it back. But I might make the videos 3pm instead of 5pm my time, because that's just a bit more convenient for me. But, what was I going to say? Yeah, new prediction. It's going to be like this. What will come first? Ideological thought or a new Stanislav event? Ladoge? I want people to bet their channel points. What do you think is going to come first? Are we going to get ideological thought finished? Or is a new Stanislav event going to come first? What's going to happen? Get betting. Give them two minutes, the doge. Please still be here. Please tell me you're still here, the doge. When does ideological thought finish? Well, 1846, September. Please, Ladoge, please. He's here. Please be here. If not you, then any other mod. Any other mod. Anyone else? Anyone? Taco Man. Taco Man, you've got this. Come on. Noki. No, I, I don't know. I don't know about you. Mod me, no balls, JBA. Uh, I've never done it. Ah. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it myself, okay? If you want something done, date yourself. Right, new, new prediction. What will come first? One, ideological thought. Or two, a Stanislav event. An ideological thought will be done in September 1846, if not actually earlier. 
due to the fact, and I'm only going to give you one minute. No predictions, we can't gamble points in Poland so there shouldn't be any predictions. Now, the people who can gamble predictions should be able to, because we need to get people up to one million. I need VIPs in here, we don't get any VIPs. Is anyone anywhere near one million? No. I don't even think anyone's at a hundred fucking thousand, let alone a million. But, let's see what comes first. Stanislav spelt with a V, fail. We've anglicised it, which is a very natural thing to do. You only have about 30 seconds left, everyone. What do you think is coming first? And then I'll unpause. I'm at 10k. Well, you only need a few more to get to a million. A lot of people have voted for ideological thought, which is interesting. People are just like, uh, first option, click. But I'm going to be honest with you. I think I'm going to let the vote run out here. Let everyone be done. Okay, channel point prediction. The votes are locked in. I think it's a bit foolish. I think it's actually very likely that in the next two years, there's going to be a Stanislav event. I don't think we. I don't think we're going to wait that long. I think it makes sense to vote. For, basically, I would have voted for a Stanislav event. I would have bet on that. It just seems more likely. I don't think they'd make us wait that long. Spain has reconquered part of South America. That's very relevant to me. There's a. That's it. Um, Spain going to war there. The Arcadian War, there you go. But the island has officially surpassed my sub count. Wait, has it not? Because I'm at 34,000, aren't I? Yeah, it hasn't. I'm 34,000. What classifies as a Stanislav event? An event which has Stanislav's name in it. And it's about him and it advances the storyline in some way. I think I'll be very fair about that when we get one. The island. How dare you reduce Sveti Andrei to the island? Stanislav would reform Poland. <laughs> it's like, uh, I'm fucking. I'll, I'll prank Stanislav when he reforms Poland and it's the guy waiting at the door forever. Crazy stuff happening to Spain, yeah. Spain might be a good playthrough actually, conquering, re reconquering South America. And holding the country together at home without a civil war. Be good. Get Carl Carlos in power? I don't know. That would be a good playthrough. That's another one to add to the list. The list basically includes almost every country in this game, in this mod. So. Anyway, uh, Discord update. Remember on the last stream, actually, this is a nice update. Um, we got the server boosted up to level 3 during the last stream, and then after the stream I set up various things. We're going to have a custom invite link. I haven't changed the command to it, but I can, I can type this out. Discord.gg slash spudgunofficial now works. That's it. You can join my Discord straight off that link. Join it now if you haven't already. If you have joined the Discord, you can click on that to open my Discord just to prove it works. No, 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 Rogo, no, not that one. That's the old one. Now we've got a custom. I could, I'll easily do that, Komodo, because um, we also unlocked a hundred new emoji slots, so I created a new channel called Emoji Submission, where anyone can just submit some suggestions for emojis. And I've added many new great ones. So that's one of the other benefits. Other benefits include... Uh, I don't know what the other benefits are. It's mainly the emoji limit and the custom link. That's the main benefit. But on top of that, we also have an amazing modding section. Uh, there's a role called modding helper on my Discord. If you want help with modding related issues, you can ping that role for help. If you want to provide other people with modding help, you can go to the channel called roles and assign yourself that using the reaction assigns. So, you can give yourself the modding helper role to receive pings when people need help with modding to answer questions, and you can ping the game, ping the role to get help when you need it. Preferably within my modding section, we should do that. You need clueless emo on Twitch. It's probably a better Twitch TV one. Is the Argentina channel still Argentina? Yeah. You've you've been banned for a long time, haven't you, POW? Should we unban you? I don't know. You're a bit of a, you were a bit of a creep. A lot of people said. 
I don't know. If you want to be unbanned, you can give me a sincere message if you want. But I'm not I'm not going to extend my massive wave of uh, clemency all the way there. Is the politics channel still a disappointment? Oh, oh guys, look what happened. Here we go. So, by the way, that's just another note. Um, my Discord has an amazing modding section. It's innovative. The official, quote unquote, official, it's not official in any way, Victoria 2 modding server has this massive fuck off list of channels, like hundreds of channels. Every mod has its own section, but it's fucking linear. So the, the further down your mod is placed, the more fucked you are and the less people will find it because it's just so far down. Absolutely horrific set setup for a server. I have brought in an innovative feature. I'm using the Discord forum feature to provide a list of mods. So, in, in my server, the excellent fucking modding section, you can click on the forum feature. I've got it set up into two different forums, multiplayer mods and single player mods. Click on one of them. There are, you can search the mods from A to Z. You can, search, you can use various tags such as alt history, DOD, modern day, to search for mods that you want. And each mod has its own little thread where you can post a playthrough, ask a question, give feedback on the mod, tell us your thoughts, and just discuss the mod if you so wish. So you can, this means that like the, the, the way in which mods are organized in, the, in a list doesn't impact how accessible the mod is. There's no bias towards fucking GFM at the top naturally. But it's so much better. But the next thing I'm planning on doing is having an updates channel in that modding section where this updates channel will be linked to the, the main announcements channel for various Victoria 2 mods and other discords. So we can take the announcements from TGC. We can take the announcements from DoD Rework. We can take them from... I've, I've set up fucking Trail of Cans. Shout out to the Trail of Cans people. Half of them all, all often watch my streams. So that in one single channel on my server, you can get updates for various mods. Just have a good overview of what mods are being updated and what's, what's going on. And you can check out, without having to spread yourself out to multiple different Discord servers, each individual mod, you can get a good overview of what's going on just in one place, my server. So that's a great idea for the channel. That channel, though, I'm also going to just incorporate... I'm going to also link Open Vic updates to that channel. And I think Gilded Destiny updates. So just anything that I personally think is interesting. Because after all, the Discord server is my server. So it's what, what gets shown in there is based on my own personal recommendations that I think people will like and are relevant. And people that, you know, aren't a complete dick, you know, if... People out there, if they're a modder and they've been... If they're one of those modders that are just a hater of me, then I'm not going to fucking display it on my server of over 5,000 people. You lost out. So, like, my default position to any Victoria 2 mod is I'll display it and support it. If they're nice to me in their mods, their people are nice to me, that's a bonus. But if they're a dick, they don't get shown. But my neutral position is I'll show everything by default. Who hates on you? Ah, where do we start? GFM people. Uh, the heirs to Aquitania creator, fucking the uh, the maker of the other DoD version, HPM. But it's you see, these there's a several people on several different Victoria Two mods that hate on me. But it's not as if they each independently became haters of me through their own decision. It, they are they are linked to the Victoria Two modding server owned by Cynic, who's a massive Victoria Three paradox shill who hates on me who removed my mutual advert with them just over the Victoria 3 leak situation. And within that little group, this a lot of hating on me spread. It wasn't an organic thing. Um, very much centralized to the Victoria 2 modding server admin chat. Uh, and they hated on me there, spread lies, didn't give me any chance to fucking defend myself against like rumors and lies they spread amongst themselves. And uh, the, Airst the Airst Aquitania guy thinks that I'm a smooth brain for not knowing the deep lore of Terra Larga in my videos. Not, 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 he doesn't appreciate the fact that the videos are just presenting a different story based on what. Anyway, what, a, what an amazing rant. But the bottom line is, 
the, the modding section on my Discord, which you can join under a fancy new link. Okay, I swear I'm about, a lot, I'm losing viewers to this, but it's so important. This stuff is really important for the community. But my great modding section in my server is brilliant. The same of 1845. Okay, we're back. This is the channel point prediction. Taco Man, do you know how to cash out the channel points to the people who voted for two? The people who voted for the King Stannis whatever event? Shall we arrest the traitors? I don't know. King Stanislav's reign has not been fruitful. The magnates, not just in Poland proper, but in the outlying regions which supposedly pay him homage, continue to conspire against the throne. Yes, yes, what are you all saying yes to? I don't know the situation yet. I'm going to make a decision. Hello, Doomlord. <laughs> yeah, exactly, the doge. But, you know, that wasn't the reason he hated on me. It's all deeper than that. It's all like it's the reasons I talked about before with Cynic and that lot in the fucking the admin channel. He just joined the bandwagon and then came up with some shit. Even though I made um, like these videos about his mod, and when I first put out the videos, he was praising them. I talked to him on Steam and I was showing him the videos. I'm like, look at these videos I'm making from your mod, and it was so nice. But then, like a year later, he randomly starts hating on me for getting the lore wrong. Uh, so you know, coincidentally, out of nowhere. Without talking to me, without asking me, hey, without saying anything. It's fucked. It's weird. Fascinating and weird. You have a giant army, arrest them. But it could, you know. Thank you, Ladoge. Um, ideological thought hasn't happened and a Stanislav event has happened. So, like I was saying, I think it was foolish to vote, but the people who did vote for the Stanislav have gotten good odds, so they've gotten a nice boost on channel points. So congratulations to them. So, uh, if the king is to bring about his vision of a united commonwealth ready to face the future, then he can no longer be bound by the odious golden liberties. It's time to get rid of the golden liberties. The noble powers. He is mindful that many junior officers within the Polish military, as well as the urban bourgeoisie, loathe the schwachta and their entrenched privileges. Some of the more paranoid nobles I've spread rumours that the same of 1845 was a trap and I'm going to fucking kill them all when they meet there. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's do it. Uh, that the Stanislav will, upon its opening, launch a military coup d'etat in the name of crushing plots against the crown and lay the groundwork for a permanent parliamentary same based on modern constitution instead of medieval documents. What a fucking event text. So, have we brought back the Piast dynasty yet? Someone mentioned something about that being linked to... Uh, and one province minor that Bohemia annexed. I think it was Teshin. So the, the basically the event, the, the text of the, this event is like um, nobles are going to the same. Oh, I'm sure King Stanislav isn't going to launch a, a trap and launch a coup d'etat in the name of crushing plots against the crown and lay the groundwork for a permanent parliamentary same based on a modern constitution instead of medieval documents. Clueless. That's basically the text of this event. Um, if so, then the lands beyond the Polish heartland will surely look to outside powers to protect them from the king's ambitions. Oh. Well, let's start the music. Let's get the Hussars march back. Hussars march. It's time to launch this coup. I'm a bit concerned that doing this, even though it's very necessary to do this, but we might lose some of our breakaway satellites. I just hope that we can maintain our grip on them, you know? We must, we have to try and do everything. Commonwealth gets the, the Era Habsburger. Oh. Prestige down, diplomatic points down. We're going to get no diplo points after this. The Unia Schwachekska will become the new ruling party. Absolute monarchy, orthodox recruitment, unitary, no voting. Oh my god. Officers, seize them. We have to do it. We pray for the fallen. And then decisions. Oh, okay. We're a new colour. Whoa. New colour. New colour just dropped. We still have substates for now. We just annexed part of that. Wait, no, it's the same colour. I'm confused. I thought we annexed the Uman, but they're still technically different. Look. But we became the same colour. Okay. Justify on what? 
We still have the Duchy of Prussia. Okay. We already lost Smolensk and Sloboda and Zaporozhye anyway. New colour. Now, I never saw this colour. Oh my god, look at Crimea. They're forming a Tatar stand. Okay. Dissolve the upper house. Um... I don't think that's a, that's a that's a government event that we don't necessarily want to do. Nah. This party is shit. That's the same party I had anyway. Oh, that's a, that's a disappointment. Look at my industry. Isn't it great? It's a bunch of factories. Some of them closed. Some of them open. Luxury clothes. Is Crimea civilized? Uh, it might be. Kill Crimea before they westernize. Actually, partially westernized, currently at war. Actually, you're, should, do, should we actually go after Crimea? We can justify wars. We can demand concession. We could take... Do I have pops? No, I don't have any accepted pops. Do I have Ashkenazi? There are some Ashkenazis, actually. A very small amount of Ashkenazis. I, I don't want to play too many other bits of music, they'll probably be copyrighted, so... We can start preparing for this shit. Puppet, fire, puppet, fire, puppet. What do you mean? Make puppet? Why would I make this a puppet? No, I don't, I don't like the idea. It's not good. I, I want to directly take the land. Let's do it. Let's try. This is multiple player, not single player. Demand concession. And like I can then and a demand capital concession to take that. Doom Lord. Thank you very much for gifting three subs. Appreciate that. D00ML0RD, the one gifted a tier one sub to It can't pronounce your name. Um get the militancy up with that beer hall event. D00ML0RD, the one gifted a tier 1 sub to Komodo Master. How many troops does Crimea have? We'll be sending another stack. D00ML0RD, the one gifted a tier 1 sub to Fat Guy Dude. Thanks so much, Doom Lord. Fire is BTTV emote, but it don't work here. If you remind me to add it after this stream, I'll add it. With a little bit of luck, I'll add it. Oh, never mind. At least I, I didn't take the infamy hit before they formed Tatarstan. They're still partially westernized, but Ukraine formed. Ukraine formed. When are we going to annex Kiev? At least I still have it as my substate for now. Um, how can I possibly remind you this? DM me on Discord. Did anyone join the Discord during my big advertising spree? Whoa, four people did. Now there, that's that's good. Considering most of you are already there and you're already part of the community, it's it's nice to see that an advert like that actually works. People will join. It's cool. And we can move through Moldova as well. That Ukraine formed against Tatars, right? Make sure to drink water. Yeah, good point. I don't have any in my cup. Maybe I'll go get some later. Um, so let's move toward, let's start a new justification on this new country. Same again. Thankfully we didn't take the infamy hit on nothing. Ukraine forms, smug gun justifies for Crimea. I, I wonder, I don't know what will happen regarding Ukraine here. We should get some events, we should get some lore. Russia seeks Scandinavian protection? No! Wait, something's happening here. By the way, thank you for tuning in, Carlos. Great to see you. Hope you enjoy. Um, the first casualty of Stanislav's assumption of dictatorial authority was Prussia. No! Ever since the first Prussian homage of 1525 was transformed, the old, the old order state of the Teutonic Knights into the Duchy of Prussia as a Polish vassal. Some have seen this arrangement as the equivalent of clutching a viper to our breast. Those fears have been borne out as the Prussian Baltas, steeped in feudalism, are terrified at Stanislav's assault upon noble privilege. Is there any reason you sit alone in a Discord channel? Yeah, to provide my uh, little face on the top left there, 
to have a little uh, bike on when I'm speaking. Look. I like having that. And the way to do it is for me to sit in a Discord channel and use a Discord integration on Twitch. So it's, I like doing that. And it even serves as a little reminder, a little help for people on my Discord seeing me there in a channel called Live will go, oh, he's streaming as well. But I also have the thing on the user list on the top right that shows the orange, the purple uh, notice. That also helps people to tune in. All round win-win. Yeah. Are you on this stream, the lol, just because you saw me in the live channel? Is that why you're here? If so, then it really worked. I hope Spud didn't fuck over his own country, lol. Well, I, I decided to go down the route of making Stanislav the dictator to get rid of the noble privileges. So, if we go down that route and we die, then I've gone down a route that I believed was good and we tried it. And it will be like a legitimate defeat, sort of thing, if we def get defeated. But I'm going to take this to, I'm going to take this as far as we can go, and I'm going to try and make this work. But anyway, Prussian problems. So they're, they're trying to get Scandinavian protection, and Copenhagen has obliged, proclaiming Prussia's annexation. Scandinavian troops have been welcomed with open arms. I end my alliance, I lose it. Bishop of Varnia changes. Oh god. Oh! No! I need to go to war with them now, and I need Bohemian help, because they're in the HRE and they get Pomerania. Let's do it. Fucking bastards. Please don't take Lithuania as well. But you know what? I'm ready for it. If I can try anything. I'm taking attrition walking into some Moldovan states. Allows construction of infantry. What have I been building since then? Formation of the Chestochova Confederation. The Schlachter of the Commonwealth are nothing if not persistent. After Stanislav abruptly ended the same of 1845 by arresting many of the nobles in attendance and declaring his intention to abolish the old laws in favour of primogeniture succession. Oh my god, how long is this sentence? Give me a full stop, please. And a permanent parliamentary same magnets from the throughout the realm gathered at the fortress of Shestova on the German border. So that's uh, this one. Yeah. Uh, they have proclaimed Stanislav's actions to be illegal and have formed a confederatia, the type of military association which has periodically arisen throughout Polish history. The Czestochowa Confederation seeks the overthrow of King Stanislav by any means necessary. This is good. This is going to be quite difficult. Are you sure you couldn't have avoided the Prussian thing? Maybe they're in the Scandi sphere. I've never been a great power. But we'll get it back. We'll get them back. In the midst of this treason, the Colin Stannis were the crazed radical. The Uman Confederation has also broken ties with the Commonwealth. Oh, Uman. And they took half the land I already had. This is fucked. Fucking hell, I don't even border Crimea. No. I still have mill access with them though. So I can still go after Crimea. This is fucked up. I'm losing troops. That was a big bit of land. It wasn't just... Oh. It wasn't only the fucking puppet. Half of the real land went as well. That's fucked up. How could this happen to me? I've made a mistake. Where's that video? Hello! Are you depressed? Because I'm not. Which is why today I'm going to teach you how to say life is meaningless and we are all gonna die in Polish. Let's get right into it. Życie jest bez sensu i wszyscy zginiemy. Życie jest bez sensu i wszyscy zginiemy. Oh. When do I get the wars? Oh. Oh, it's rain, it's a big storm outside. So we can talk about the weather now. I mean, look, we've, we've had a... Recently in Scotland and in Brit Britain. England has had a bigger heat wave of it than we have, but it's been a bit hot. But now there's a storm. And I can hear it. Right, let's fund the army. We've got the Caspelli. Let's try and just... Let's get this bit of Crimea. It's a bit like the multiplayer versions. 
you know, how the Poland's go for Crimea, even if they don't directly border it. It's like there's puppets in between. It's normal. Let's deck on them to take Yedisan. Who, what allies can I call? I can call Valachia, and I think they're very close by. They would get here. Nice. Nothing will stop me going after Crimea. No distractions. Britain and Rain never better duel. In fact, it was it was pretty hot today, but now there's a massive storm outside. You know that's what happens in these like these summer periods. I don't know. You get a big period of hot weather, but it's followed up by a storm. You are making a mistake by invading Crimea now. Well, you say that, that you provide no reasoning as to why. Therefore, your opinion is rejected. I still have enough troops. Why did why is Bohemia not allied to me anymore? You know? I lost all my relations with them probably through these events. But at least we have Burgundy. And at least we still have Lithuania. Stanislav is gonna do this. I think Stanislav can pull it off. I didn't want to spoil something coming up. Well, we live we live by the sword and we die by the sword. Lithuania is still loyal for now, but I wouldn't be surprised if they fucking go away as well. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, the Kievan Council. The Kievan Council. At least Ukraine doesn't have cause on that. You'll see my reasoning soon. What, is it EU4? Do I get the Cossack fucking uh, um, estate? Is that what it is? Get the Cossack estate and they start rising up. Can the war goal invalidate if Tatars westernize? Yes. Definitely. And they're quite close, but I don't think... I just want to grab this one region really quick. That's all I'm taking. Did you just self-partition? Well, it was Stanislav and his moves. Oh wait, I, I don't know if I can get this stack out of here. I'm going to exile them out. That's how I'm going to get them out. Oh god. Standoff with the Chistokova Confederation. This isn't even my ex sub -states. Um, Thanks, uh, Bluxy. Thanks, Bluxy. Glad to hear it. Um, what, what are you saying to each other there? Some in-jokes. As we had feared, the traitorous Slachta of the Chistokova Confederation are seeking outside aid for their insurrection. We believe that Prague and Copenhagen are both considering intervention. I'm going to beat them both. The Chestakova Confederation has likely promised them economic and even territorial concessions if they assist in ousting King Stanislav. Yet there is hope. The Chestakova Confederation is rumoured to be rife with factionalism, with its nobles already falling into bickering with one another. It is likely that if we prolong the standoff with the Confederation for long enough, they will collapse in on themselves. The real danger is that foreign powers may preemptively intervene in their name. It's going to be a decision between Scandinavia and Bohemia to do that, isn't it? Uh, get away from the border. Move, move. Ah! Ah! Oh, it's Bohemia! Why the fuck is it Bohemia? They were my ally the whole game. Why them? Not you. Not anyone but you. Right, I think we can win this. I'm going to take my troops back from there soon. I'm going to go to speed one for a sec. Good, good news is they're not going to build their fucking shitty factories in me anymore. Move off the border. That was a good choice. Consolidate the armies back here and prepare the counter attack. Do I have generals? I've been having, I've been on auto create the whole game. I didn't even look at this. But thankfully we didn't build any admirals. So my generals are all entirely shit. Good. Right. Oh my god, Crimea is attacking. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's my best defense general? Got a two? I don't even have a two defense. For fuck's sake. Uh, okay. Get this defense one in there. This general is as good as it gets. He arrives on the 21st. <laughs> Not to worry. Bohemia will come and save us. Stanislav. Bohemia. Bohemia is concerned with the Confederation. Their troops are crossing the border as we speak. 
We made all those tracksuits for you, Bohemia, don't you remember? They're wearing those tracksuits into battle. Bohemian official army uniform are these Adidas tracksuits made in Poland. It's the ultimate betrayal. So, let's just, let's make the best of this. Hey, at least if I win, I'm getting Silesia out of this. Oh, I'm just fighting for status quo. Fucking kill, kill me now. I'm just fighting for status fucking quo. I'm not getting anything! It's so over. Right. 20 sec On this day, I can start controlling Lithuanian units. And tell you what, let's see what generals Lithuania has. That's going to be really, really important. Alright, Lithuania, what have you got? Nothing. Two defense. One, one. Nothing. One. Fucking. Also, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's your general? They've got a three attack and a nine roll. That's absolute bullshit. But now I've got the nine. I've got the nine roll now. Now he's laughing. Crimea. Yeah, that's it. We have equal mil tech, so it's not as if being unserved is a, is a disadvantage for them, but we're crushing them. Eh. I'm seeing all the chat members going, oh, it's over for me, but it's not updated yet. Like, you're still on the old news, on the old roll, but we're actually winning. Right, that stack is lost. Wait, what is that stack? Scandinavia occupies the coast? Seriously, mate? They just grab a fucking region! Multiple provinces. This is actual bullshit, the way this is happening. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Come on. I know I've taken a difficult route here. I know this is a very difficult route that's going to require great determination and skill to manage, but come on. You can't just grab that much fucking land straight from me. Jesus. Christ. Okay, let's continue beating Crimea. Illyria, get in this war. They will join one of the wars, which means they'll maybe join both. Thanks, Burgundy. Alright, we're winning. We're beating Crimea. Some of my army is a little bit tied up over there. Alright, we won. Follow up. Get a better general. One, I don't have a one attack ready to go there. I'm not on the site. This army is stuck in Scandinavia now. Massive amounts of Bohemians are moving in. Mein Stanislav. Mein Stanislav. Scandi hasn't declared, thankfully. Yeah, they've just annexed half my land, that's all. At least they haven't declared. I better give military access to Lithuania so they don't take so much attrition. I'm waiting for my mobilisation to pour in. I need that. Uh, oh, we're across the river. We've got a bit of a defence of the river here. I'm, I am standing on that province. I'll wait for the Bohemians to move across the river and I will... Uh, that's I, I need to get that stack back. Stack wipe and pause now. They were mobilized guys, I couldn't do anything about it. I'm not fighting on the basis of organized stacks. They're attacking Warsaw. The Battle of Warsaw is about to happen. Get a one defense. It's the best we've got. Uh, wait, Lithuania had a two defense. Where is he? This one. You go in there. It stopped their movement. That's so annoying when the AI does that. By the way, if you want me to win this war, there's one way we can do it. Subscribing, donating, and supporting the channel. I've heard that those are how we're going to win the war. Is this a solo run? Yeah. That was bad timing attacking Crimea. Nah. I'm winning. And these troops are going to come back. These are literally going to be Steiner Steinerov. Steinerovo. They're coming back. I'm going to exile this guy out of Ukraine. Let them attack. We're going to have a miracle of the Vistula. Oh! The Ottoman Empire! The Ottoman Empire! Get in, get in, get in. They will join! They will join! The Ottoman Empire! Thank you, the LOL! Oh, you... You sub for three months in advance? This is actually my last ever stream. No, I'm just joking. Thank you so much for uh, subbing with three months in advance. 
It's very smart to sub in advance in September, in September. But, yeah, I can guarantee I'll be continuing streaming. I might be having a break in October for a week, but I'll continue streaming. So you, your advanced subbing is uh, in good hands. Question is, will the Ottomans be able to move troops around to help me? It looks like they're positioning to come and help me with the Crimea War, but that's not exactly what I need. They did join the Bohemia War. Oh, wait, oh fuck. No, I'm still... The Ottomans became the war leader of the Crimea War. No, <laughs> no they'll, they'll all believe me. No, I'm so I, I am going to be streaming for the next three months. I will take a break in October for a week, but that's it. I'm not quite extreme. It's, it's, that's the joke I say every time someone subs in advance. You, you get used to it. Right, 5th of September. Now I reinforce with the Lithuanian 2 defence. And now the miracle of the Vistula begins. And furthermore, I'll move around here for encirclement. I can't get a full encirclement, but I'm moving around anyway. All right, exile, exiled, exiled, get in there. Ah, this occupation's going to take a little bit of time. Can I sub in advance from Prime? No, that's I. I you can't do that. I, I, that's a fact. Yes, you, you cannot do that. I can tell you that much. Miracle of the Vistula or just bad rolls? Oh, an attack there as well. 14th, 14th of September. Oh, 13th. Reinforced. Shit general. Two attack. One defense in there. Miracle of Stanislav. We're going to need that. Oh no. Two attack. Bad roll. How is Warsaw going? We won. Um, is that follow up -able? No. Too risky. Too risky. Should actually reinforce that battle instead. Yeah, be smart. Be smart about it, Spud Gun. Did you lose Prussia or does it belong to Scandi? I lost it mid war here. Scandi just grabbed it. Also, they're reinforcing that with a lot. I'm doing better casualties right now. They're reinforcing that with a shitload of people. Holy fuck. And the mobilized troops are pouring in. I'm going to launch a southern counter-attack with a two attack. Down towards uh, Novi Sach. Ottomans should peace out the Crimean War. Just for the one war. Go oh my god, Bohemia's crushing me here. Get in, get in, get in. I'm doing better casualties. What Scandi did to you, brother? I guess you, you should help the Bohemians against Scandis. It doesn't matter. Nothing's happening. Cycle. Um, this out. That one. Multi-province retreat. This is where I beat them, though. This is where we... Oh. If I attack that, will they stop moving? No, just hold that. Right, okay. And we're winning now. What are the Czechs fighting for? Oh, some dumb LARP. Ah, uh, there's a... Basically, there's a... Since we're containing the rights of the nobles, there's a group of discontented nobles that set up a military organisation here, and they got foreign backing from Bohemia. Because I suppose Bohemia doesn't agree with my decisions over actually bringing this country forward. Instead of leaving it in the fucking dirt. They don't, they don't like that. I'm following up. Some Bohemians are retreating to Czestochovka. That is um, actually a poetic place to go. Leave a stack there. They're attacking Warsaw, they're attacking Warsaw. End it. 
Crimea. Almost done with the capital. Please don't add anything, Ottomans. Oh, they added something. What did they? What are they taking? Koban. What's that? Oh my God, they're taking this bit. What have I done? I've begun a wave of Ottoman expansion into the fucking steppe. They're taking Koban. Fuck. Um, it's going to be very attritionist to get these guys out of here now. Okay. I should win Warsaw as well. That's a good follow-up there. Bad rolls, but it's a good follow-up. Launch the Novi Sach counter-offensive. Any more Lithuanian troops? Yes, the mobilized troops are coming in, but they are... Irregulars. Serfs. Jesus Christ. Better than nothing. It's like fighting with fucking uh, Mountain and Blade Warband serfs. Oh, they're attacking me in Lechicha. Lich, Lich, 25th, one more day. Um, that's a big attack. But we're crushing them in the very place that the whole thing originated. Okay, that's Crimea. We gained land, we expanded. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now let's exile our way back through. The Ottomans took the Ottomans took Azov. The Ottomans took that. But guess what? They actually have a couple of accepted pops in there. Wait, you won't be exiled. Uh Lalol. Your your at your capital spamming me for something that you're wrong about. Um I'm going to go back into my own land. I have military access with Moldavia. When I reach this province, I'll exile them again. So, you're overreacting. I know what I'm doing. I'm fine. How are these battles going? Okay, we're winning. We're winning. It's such a shame that this is literally a fucking massive death war and I'm getting nothing out of it. And now I'm not even controlling... Am I even controlling Lithuania's units? Is it because I... Oh fuck, it. that's the glitch. The glitch of piecing out one war means I lose control over Lithuanians in the other war. That literally happened. Fucking hell. Can we follow up here? Yeah, I, I don't get the Lithuanians following me, but I'm following up. I don't know if I can fix that glitch. We're losing in Lechich. Yeah, no. Shit. I didn't want my access from Ukraine anyway. Jesus. This keeps getting rougher and rougher. I can't even retreat the Lithuanians there manually. Ouch. A lot. Another glitch to fix in Open Rick. That's right, Knight of Honor. So, the Ottomans are on my side in the war against Bohemia, but it doesn't look like they're sending troops. Because they're heading back into their own land. And they're not moving through Hungary. Oh, Illyria joined the war, but Hungary's a Scandinavian spear. At least we can say we gave this a good fucking try. It's been a good playthrough anyway. Even if we lose that, even if we lose now. But fucking hell. Oh god, that stack, it's just a one stack, it's fine. At least, I mean, Lithuania is controlled by AI, but at least it's going to still be helping me. We just got a big wipe on them down here. Very good. Getting some wipes. And we're, we're beating them in the south. We're winning, completely winning the south. All over the place. Southern front. We're winning. Maybe you're intended to bide your time. I did what I could. I did everything I was offered. All that we could do. Bohemia has a really big mobilization. We have a roughly even brigade count, but I have Lithuania. They can win that battle. Novi Targ, which is that one? We just got another wipe. We just wiped their brigade count down a, a nice little bit. Um, go there. Prepare to hit them in Pajemishol. Counter-attack in war? Yeah, Miracle of the Vistula. Miracle of the Vistula. Surprised the Hetman it isn't your puppet. They were, it's complicated. 
but we lost them. It's very complicated. Facebook relationship status, it's complicated. Are kebab makers in the war? Yes, we just spent ages talking about that, but they're not doing anything. Attack that, be bold. Be brave. Have, have big balls. Ottoman troops are not moving towards this war. They're just not. Exile myself here. Get back into Lvov. This battle here. We're winning that because of a good Lithuanian general. This is a bold attack. It's a two attack. The Lithuanians might reinforce me. Let's take a save. It's a good point in the war. If we lose from here on out, we might come back to this save and try again. Does access through Austria give them a... I can't decide what access they decide to get. Either they will or they won't. Right, I can hit that 11k now. When you hear... Big battles. Um, I take them round to help there instead. That's actually smarter. Take them round there. Miracle of the Vistula is happening live. We're going to get all our land back. Every inch of territory that we lost throughout this situation. Oh, the casualties. Yes, big rolls. Big rolls. Big fa Oh, they're attacking me. General. Defense. 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 Defense one. Hit him. Yeah, go on. Hit me. Hit me. Yes. Good. Genius. Moves all the way around. Good ca- No, bad casualties. Okay, we wiped that, but we're kind of isolated in the middle of Bohemian territory with three depleted stacks. That's not really an ideal situation. Miracle of the Vistula happened. Follow up. Uh, these guys are here. Hit the 5k. Nice. Everyone reinforced there. Victory. Follow up. Be brave and bold. Go all in. Don't let them get a reinforcement tick in January, basically, in their own territory. They probably have good industry. Consolidation would also be good for Open Vic. Aye. It's not a big issue. Oh, they're attacking me across the river there. Oh, God. One defence. I'll need to reinforce that. These guys can come around. It's a long way. Shit. That could be bad. Bohemia. Well, hey, we did it. We won. We won due to massive battle war score. We did it, lads. We reached status quo. That's all we're going to get out of this anyway. That's the best we'll do. We literally can't add anything even if I wanted to. If I'm lucky, there will be an event after the war where I maybe get something or some Bohemia gets weakened. But uh, we'll take it. That's victory. Great job, everyone. Demobilize. Now, if we could deal with Scandinavia... We get to live, but living, you know, I don't know. We're going to figure it out. We're just going to you know, just consolidate now and rebuild, fund the armies, get them back up. I've still got a very strong army. I've got some good allies as well, if they could help. All of the fucking, oh shit, what is this? Collapse of the Czechoslovak Confederation. Yeah, fuck them. The Slachstar were traitors to the end. When it became clear that they could not challenge King Stanislav, they fell into infighting. Well, they also just uh, fell to a massive, gigantic death war as well. But let's just put that to the side for now. I'm going to end the stream in like uh, 10, 15 minutes, by the way. Because this is edge of the seat stuff. And we should spread it out to multiple streams. Uh, when it became clear that they could not challenge King Stanislav, they fell... Our forces have arrived to find them battling each other. After crushing them, our men brought their leaders to Warsaw, where they met King Stanislav, seated upon his throne. Each of them personally laid their battle standards before him. The king then exiled them all, forcing them to sign over their property to the crown and warning the traitors that they would be executed if they ever returned. This has triggered a general purge of the Polish nobility, with estates across the kingdom seized for redistribution to the people. The Polish commoners, once outraged by Stanislaw's royal dictatorship, have been wooed by this marvellous show of strength. Giga Chadislav. Can I get some Giga Chads in the chat? That's right, Noki. 
Um, the Uman Confederation remains estranged, something the king must change in order for his plans to come to fruition. If Stanislav and his strange coalition of monarchists, junior military offers, officers, and the Warsaw bourgeoisie can win the trust of the Lithuanians and the Ruthenians, then the, perhaps the Commonwealth will become at last the United Nation. What do we get here? Oh my god. We get avant-garde intelligentsia plus 30% culture tech. You have no idea how much I need that. Uh, the Kievan Council removes neutrality. The Kievan Council becomes a puppet. We got them back. We got the Kiev Council back. We did it. We got the Kiev Council. That instantly gives us an ideological thought early. It was originally going to be September, so idealism now, please. Right. Kiev is back. They own like land that we used to directly own, but I'll take it. I'll take it. What? Whatever. Whatever I get. Make alliances. Do we have any new decisions showing up? Let's see. Prevent a general Rada of the Rus. One of the following must be true. Grand Duchy of Lithuania exists or have country lit nobility pissed. Our infiltrators within Ruthenian nationalists have informed us that a massive convention of Ruthenian shows are being planned in Kyiv. The scale of this endeavour is such that even if we in, they will simply relocate. So this is stopping that. Uh, seek a path to the sea. Don't tell me I get cores on Crimea. Uh, the naval issue. Okay. Well, maybe that's getting... The Commonwealth cannot survive. Gdansk. This is about attacking Scandinavia and getting that coast back. That is really rightfully ours. Provisional constitution. Okay. Proclaim the Union of Warsaw. That's still very in the long run. Proclaim everything. Uh, I can't read that blue fucking text. Can anyone read that? I can't read that. All of our exertions are towards one aim. The Union of Lublin, the Union of Warsaw, create a modern government out of our military institutions. So when I get that... That's a large stone outside. Commonwealth is a great power, state and government. We need the Stanislav Constitution first, which would be this. Lordship of Ruthenia exists, so... That's what people were saying about needing state and government and stuff like that, I guess. So I don't know. We'll, we'll wait and see what happens. I got a new national focus, though, which is very, very important. There. Good, good, good. Collapse of the Tatar Empire. That was quick. I'd like to annex the last of Crimea now. Wait. Ah, my truth, damn, my truth carries over with them. I thought since it's a different country. It might revert my truce, but I've still got the truce with Crimea. I'd like to, you know, thingy them. What do you call it? Establish protectorate on them when I can. We get a couple of them. That is a very, very heavy storm outside. Actually, I tell you what, I need some. In I need some infantry. Maybe I could get one of my national focuses on the soldiers, although my soldier percentage is still very high throughout the country, so I can't really do that, really. I mean, I've got all the soldiers I can. Ukraine is still there, they haven't made any moves. Russia is still basically status quo, nothing forming it. But we're wrapping up the stream, though. Now we know exactly where you're at. Now this storm is all over Scotland. Can I look at a weather map? I'm not going to show it to you. Uh, let's see. How how much does it narrow down where I am if I look at a map of weather? Um, um, let's see. This map of the UK weather is showing storms all over the entire British Isles. So that doesn't narrow it down. Not all the British Isles. Inverness is ruled out. Uh, uh, yeah, that doesn't that doesn't rule that doesn't narrow it down at all. 
You can see specific thunderstorms as well. And there's a lot spread out in lots of different places that I could live. <laughs> nah, um, yeah, wasn't sure at all. There's actually there's thunderstorms all over Scotland. Yep, everywhere. But not in Vernet, not the Highlands. The Highlands is spared. If I zoom out on all of Europe. Oh, there's something. Extreme high temperatures around Paris and Orléans. Thunderstorms are also all over Belgium and France. I could live there as well. They're also in Lithuania. There's extreme forest fires. There's forest fires in Russia and the Caucasus and Crimea. Anyway. So, uh, classic Lithuanian accent. Sveiki. What map is this? I'm just, I was just looking at a, a weather map. I wasn't showing it on on stream. I was narr narrating what I was seeing with it. Island check? 38,000, whoa! Actually, I think after that war and then the aftermath getting Kiev back, that might be a good place to call it for today. Been at it for 3 hours 20 minutes, good, good amount of time. Don't argue about climate change in the chat, I'm vetoing that immediately, don't argue. When you go to war with Scandi, what do you hope to take? Everything that they stole from me for a start, plus the Baltics, plus a bit of Pomerania, plus Reparations, plus Humiliate, plus L, plus Cope, plus Rip Bozo. Right, so... Caucasus and Crimea are in Russia, though. Yeah, no, that's what I was saying. I was saying it... Well, I, I, no, I wasn't saying Crimea. No, 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 I didn't, didn't mean that. Crimea's not in Russia. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Crimea's not part of Russia. No, 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 no. I didn't say that, I didn't say that. That was your words, not mine. Uh, they, it should become part of Ukraine against the wishes of the people living there. Yes. I, I completely support that. I, I, can, I am behind the United Kingdom government. I am very happy that... Yes. Okay, let's move on. Self-determination doesn't count there. It must be owned by Ukraine. I'm joking though. Either way, I'm joking. I support Belgorod going to Ukraine as well. There you go. I'm going further. I support them. Right? Self-determination doesn't count in Eastern Europe. I think they're all determining themselves at the moment. Poland's happy. Uh, because the, the Germans that used to live all over modern Poland don't live there anymore, so the people living there, in Poland, in these regions, they support the self-determination. It's interesting, like, you go back to World War I, and the, Americ the Americans brought in self-determination to try and do the treaties. And then, by the time World War II rolled round, people had learned how to abuse the idea of self-determination by just removing the people and replacing them with people that you... your people. And then that, that way the people there will vote for you. So it took about 20 years for them to abuse self-determination. Anyway. And and then whatever the fuck happened to Hungary as well happened. I don't know. So, good stream. Thank you so much for the generous uh, donations, subs, moderation, support. Join my Discord, it's great. You should sack Moscow next stream. This campaign is all about cracking down on the Russians. It's all about it. We... Well, with the internal problems of Poland, we are not really able to exert any power or influence over Russia. At all. But in the future, we can. This isn't like multiplayer, when you can just start partitioning Muscovy from day one. They partitioned themselves. But you've, you've got to build yourself up to get back in there. Greece gets Crimea back to the Byzantines. I support that. Dobranoc. Or is it Dobranoc? Dobranoc. Dobranoc, I don't know, one of them. But yeah, thanks so much. Round of applause, please. Gigachad Stanislav, L plus Rip Bozo to Bohemia, who used to be my ally. 
In hindsight, I should have supported, I should have gone with what the people voted for. I should have actually supported Scandinavia and Burgundy. Although, actually, isn't that what happened with Hungary? Isn't the result of that Hungary being under Scandinavia instead of Bohemia anyway? So it doesn't actually matter. Because the result went against what I gave the speech for anyway. I think. Because if, Bohe if Bohemia won that, they would have gotten Hungary in their sphere. I think that's what happened. If I'm understanding correctly. But yeah... Again, shout out to DOD Fan for, for providing great stories. Um, that was amazing. So, exclamation mark mod, check them out. And uh, it's, it's, it must be better than HBM DOD. It's clearly better. There can't be any competition with this. But there could be. I don't know. I'll check out that other mod sometime. The makers of it kind of hate me though. However, on that bombshell, thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. Weekend's over. It's Monday tomorrow. You're back to work. Sorry. It's over. And you're going back to school and everything. Yeah. Well, enjoy that. Have a successful life. Goodbye, everyone. Cheers. I'll be back to continue this campaign on Tuesday. Tuesday. Keep that in mind. I'll be back on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Okay. Bye, everyone. Thanks so much. Bye. Any last minute subs or donations can come in still on the end screen. Bye.